When the Titan Lords fell, a new age of might came to Sidaria. An age defined by one simple decree. That whoever was the strongest in Sidaria, enough to slay its previous ruler, would hold dominion over the land. And so it was for thousands of years. And so it is yet today. Aloysius, the mad king of Sidaria, now rules these lands. Over the last ten years he has spread his influence, using cruel hobgoblins and gnolls as soldiers. The land of Sidaria quakes, torn apart by his frenzied greed for the power it holds within. For Sidaria is a lost land, a land of riches unclaimed, of legends untold, of power unseen. A beautiful, vast, and deadly land. It calls to the bold, to the clever, to the daring, to any who would dare its shores seeking adventure. It calls to Megan, the war-forged paladin. It calls to Nyx, the half-elf warlock. It calls to Nizip, the dragon-born rogue. It calls to Tyg, the Kobold Bard. It calls to Zidane, the Wood Elf Ranger. It calls to Trill, the Aarakocra Druid. And to those it calls, Sidaria offers welcome. The wilds are not easy and not kind, but they shall give a tale to remember. For this is the land of limitless adventure. This is the legend of the wild lands. Hello and welcome to Legend of the Wildlands over here on D6 Tricks. I am your host and your Dungeon Master Alex. I didn't prepare a joke this time. Oh no! Joining me as always is my lovely cast and crew of players. We have Anne. I don't die like me. We have Atwas. Storebot jokes are fine too. We have Juno. For you today, it's called Grunkles Sprinkles Explores the Wrinkles of the Wrinkles. We have Professor Mort. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. We have Queen Creeps. So that Nintendo alarm clock, right? Surely no one will buy that for a hundred dollars. Surely, <laughs> surely. We're not shaming you for buying it. We just, we just don't. We, we personally just don't need it. Like, I, I wake up. I, my, my sleep schedule is not does not is not dependent on anybody else. So I don't need it either, but I want it. And we have Toon Wolf. No, no, it's it's fine. Uh, I. Also, probably would have one hundred percent bought it for a hundred dollars uh, if I had a hundred dollars. <laughs> Imagine having a hundred dollars of disposable income to buy a Nintendo alarm clock. <laughs> Can't relate. <laughs> anyway, uh, so last time on Legend of the Wildlands, uh, there was discussion about the ten treasure hordes of Sedaria, ones that, uh, as far as Carolina knew, weren't guarded by things, at least. Uh, and while they had some clues to the locations. None of the group really had any idea where those locations could be, so they decided that's a long-term project. In the meantime, they decided to head for Tanglewood Lodge, the, a local hunting guild throughout Sidaria, because Trill wanted to go meet up with them from as early as <laughs> Session 2, I believe. On the way there... <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while. On the way there, uh, Phelan Zidane was attacked by uh, some kind of raptor that paralyzed him with a toxin. And that could have ended badly, but luckily uh, the group managed to scare the raptors away and cure Phelan before anything bad happened. Afterwards, the next day, they got to Tanglewood Lodge, had a talk about what the lodge did, essentially acted as a bastion between civilization and the wilderness, with uh, 
them acting as arrows saying, hey, hey, I'm going to shoot you. If the Walters was like, I'm going to eat you. In the case of uh, many, many such hunts that were available to help with for members of Tanglewood Lodge, of which I would say about half the group signed up and joined. Although Barkot uh, had some sassy remarks and death glares for uh, Creed, the tiefling who was basically the liaison with the Tanglewood Lodge. They decided they would start with uh, some nearby lions that were menacing travel on the road, the central road leading uh, from southern Sidaria all the way up to the castle. And after exploring uh, a vast swath of like coastal savanna where there was like almost no animal life except for carrion birds, our heroes encountered the dread massive spotted lions that menaced the coast. This was a hunt meant for, like, level 2, level 3 characters. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not a party of 10, <laughs> level 6s and 7s. Uh, the lions were decimated. It was not really close. And uh, we left our heroes after they went to the lion's lair, uh, a series of rocks shaped like a bone that appeared to, like, shine as if covered with a layer of gold beneath the sunlight, having just defeated... Uh, the last five of the Pride of Lions, and before really doing anything with the corpses or the rocks, that is where we stop, so that is where we resume. You know what they say, the pride comes before the fall. <laughs> Ta-da! Har har. <laughs> okay. Anyway. So now- Unconscious, incapacitated. Um, oh yeah, and is it did it die last session? We so gotta change that. Yep. <laughs> we gotta change that. Oh yeah, we can fix that. Ah. No, no. Um, but I think I remember. Uh, I still wanted to look for um to like harvest some more uh, claws and teeth from the lions. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's gonna be another appraisal roll, and then if that succeeds, it's advantage on the harvest roll. Okay, uh, which one's the appraisal? Is that Nature, um, because really these are beasts. Nature. Uh, depending on what type of creature it is, is going to, like, change what type of role you do. It's Luckily, that is uh, more than enough to figure. Yeah, so these lions have been absolutely savaged, but they're still usable parts, so uh, go ahead and roll nature again, change the modifier to dexterity, and add advantage. Remember, guys, we have to recycle our lines. All right. 21. 21? Uh, yeah, that will get you uh, five lion pelts and a bunch of teeth. Uh, let me do some calculation on how many teeth that would be. Kiroki. That's a lot of teeth. Collect the teeth. Collect the teeth. <laughs> Maybe if we collect enough, we can challenge the Lord of Teeth. Why would you invoke? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say that? Why would you say that out loud? <laughs> <laughs> we defeat the Lord of Teeth by defeating his dentist. No hygiene yeah. appointments anymore. <laughs> but like, while while I'm harvesting, I'm just like, because I feel bad that we just like steamrolled those like. Thank you. Thank you for your sacrifice in this. <laughs> okay. Teeth obtained. All right, teeth obtained. How much? That is uh, 25 teeth. 25 teeth. All Sweet. Right. I, I will give about... <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna give them, give some to, uh, to Fuelin. Our lovely little Fuelin. Fuelin. Yeah. I just, like, hand over, it's like, these will help, uh, strengthen arrows. If you, uh, equip, uh, add them Uh onto the, the arrow tips. Hmm. Thanks, Drill. As he yeah. takes them happily. Yeah. 
I'm gonna hold on to a few of them though. Um just for myself. So I'm I wanna give them back to the to the guild as well. You you probably do five five as five as evidence and then split the split the other twenty between the uh Yeah. Yeah, well, we have the pelts for evidence. I was just gonna like donate mm. like some of the tips for their own armories okay. and stuff. Okay, yeah, pelts would be way better evidence than uh, than teeth because lions have a lot of teeth. I don't know if you knew this. Huh? Who would have thought? Did you do dental work? <laughs> well, what, did you did you do dental work so that they could eat their eat their victims easier? No, no, we killed them. Uh, All right, I, how many? So how much would I get specifically? Uh, ten. Awesome. I just want to double check. I just have to imagine a group of bad adventurers just going and ripping the teeth out of the lion, coming back and going, "We did it! We killed them!" And it's like, why did, did you, you go the did hardest really? route? Did you really? <laughs> no, they Frankly, went. That'd be more work the teeth. Just killing them. Yeah, exactly. It's like you you went the harder route here. They came back with all of the lions still chasing after them, and they just, like, <laughs> break through the doors. Like, we did it! And they're like, rrr, 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 rrr. One of them is eating your face! No, not not. effectively, because I have his teeth. This <laughs> is <just> gumming him. <laughs> it's a good thing lions don't have claws or anything. Yeah. <laughs> So, are we going to go offload these mm. pelts? Because, oh buddy, do they take up a lot of space? Yes, Ooh, yes, yeah, absolutely. That would help. Mm -hmm. Alright. Cool. So, uh, you head away from the shimmering skull rocks and back to the map, heading back north up the road towards Tanglewood Lodge. Uh... You don't quite get to the next hex, so uh, you still manage to get along the road and then pull off to the side as dusk falls. Perish. We should not have to worry about lions. <laughs> Suddenly, but... a ninth lion appears! <laughs> but the lions sleep it tonight. Try. It's a, it's a sure a try, but we have a dog. <laughs> <laughs> we have a paladin. Good dogs. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, yes, we have a paladin, but like the dog was relevant to last time, so <gasps> give Dario some scritches. <laughs> yeah, we give, we give Dario some scritches. Such a good boy. What if we have a paladin dog? That's Dario. I don't know. That's a little. That's <laughs> that, that's what, really what, religion, yeah. what religion does Dario worship? <laughs> He what worships the dog. The good boy. <laughs> Dario has an oath. He, he doesn't need anything else. He's too powerful. <laughs> yeah, they, they reworked the paladins for 5th edition to have oaths, not gods. Sorry, sweaty. <laughs> Never call me that again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Tanglewood too. They also she reworked was... warlocks and clerics to not know who they worship till 3rd level, so, you know. Listen, for clerics, I assume it's like confirmation or something similar. Who the fuck knows? Warlocks, it's just, that's just funny. Warlocks, it's funny. <laughs> that's just really funny. Uh, wait a second, are you the devil? The devil with a fake mustache. <laughs> Maybe. No, Gee, this magic no. puberty is really weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is me, Johnny, not devil. I'm here to sell you watches. All right. Are we headed back to Tanglewood now? Gotta uh, camp. camp. Gotta do watches. Uh, yes. yes. Right. Right. Uh, watches. <laughs> Speaking of watches. Speaking of watches. Time to do some. <gasps> All right. All right. Twenty-one. Uh, you hear like the faint, faint sounds of uh wildlife. Uh, coming. Not closer to camp, but closer to the general area. A much, much nicer change than the total silence that was heading towards the lion's den. It wonders how so many lions became that way. 
But if there are no threats, then Megan goes and wakes the next person. All right, second watch. I gave me one second. Yeah, hurry up. I'm going to start pronouncing it foul land. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> <It's>... <sighs> the day is the day of roll stinky for us today. Last week was the same. Uh, let's, let's just, let's just, let's just continue. Yeah, 12, is, 12 is above 10. It's fine. Yeah, 12 we'll is okay, above 10. That's like... still technically above the average. average. This is less than my average, though. So, <laughs> Anyways. Hey, that just means you have a good safety net. Yeah, fair. Oh, yeah. All right. And third watch. Oh, shit. I got to open my character sheet. I was looking for the calendar. Uh-oh. I'll look for the calendar. Ooh. All right. So that you don't have to. Pretty good. Uh, 25. Uh, you're also definitely hearing the sounds of wildlife. There seems to be like this sense in the air that herd animals are getting, hey, those insane fucking apex predators are not being so insane anymore. <laughs> so. Neat. Yep. All right. Dawn arrives. It's a clear steel blue sky ahead. Right. Well, let's keep on moving. All right. Long rest time. I'm going to do my usual check to see if there are encounters for the day. No. But I just did. No. But I just did. I deny it. But I just did. <laughs> I don't think so. But I did. And, the, <laughs> and then the lion Nilbog came out and killed everybody. No, I'm kidding. Summon a woman or I'll love a revenge for my father! <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? God <laughs> lives the king. All right. God uh, lives the king. <laughs> you continue back up the road, and once you're there, you... Uh, find the turn-off point for Tanglewood Lodge, turn back off, and arrive back at said lodge. Okay. Woo! Woo! We just burst in. We did it! We did it! <laughs> you just burst in, carrying a bunch of different, uh, a whole Those fryers! Of, yeah, a whole bunch of lion pelts. Boom! <laughs> All right. Well, go on, new guild yeah. members. Yeah. Oh, do we have to say something? Okay. Um... We probably. I keep we... opening and shutting the door. Oops. <laughs> Get I'm out sorry, of I'm the door. <laughs> True, we were host's entrance. <laughs> I'm just imagining Trill kind of like trying trying to like rattle the door, and it's like it's like a push. It's like a pull door. Yeah. <laughs> when he's trying to push it. It's like, sorry, I got a little uh, a little uh, stage fright. Um. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we we took care of the. The lions that were terrorizing the. Uh, <laughs> oh roads. my god! <laughs> um, okay, no, no, no more playing with the door. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we have. Uh, gosh, did we get any pelts from the first couple lions, or is it just yes. the five that we got? Yes. Okay. So we have... <laughs> uh, tag, tag like pulls out a number of pelts. As we just like, we have plenty. In like a like a assembly line just like bring in like pelts like Megan drags in one of the pelts plops it down on the floor goes mm -hmm. back out to the cart grabs another starts dragging it back in bum, <laughs> the entire bum. process is very bum. Bum. ah well done Megan Megan turns 
runs a couple more, runs back to the, walks back to the cart, comes back. <laughs> yeah, Tig like flops down the yeah. three pelts that they were carrying. Oh, we're not done yet. <laughs> Plump. <laughs> Plump. <laughs> there were ten total. There were eight. For those total. of you counting us home, uh, eight. 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 Was, okay. We materialized two more on the way here. I see. Manifested <laughs> two lions. Yep. yep. All right. We're well just done. that good. <laughs> so, uh, the, uh, the one who posted this has offered up a couple of silver bars in exchange for the lions. So one for each lion killed, if you'll just give me one second to go get them. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Ooh, up Tangling, they would. <laughs> no, this isn't serious. We're, we're 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 making them proud. Don't make them laugh. <laughs> that wasn't canon. <laughs> I hear if you make them laugh, they're legally allowed to kill you. No, just you. Listen, I break several <laughs> laws, but none of them are laughing. <laughs> right. There's a uh, log that attitude. There's a logins laughing. <laughs> so. Uh, that's not going to be enough for each of you because the number of people in your party uh, is greater than the number of lions there were, but uh, he plops down a set of eight silver bars. Nice. Okay. Hey, thank you so, so much. So these are like um, bullion that you sell? Uh, yes. Okay. So it's basically like okay. raw silver. It's not in coinage. Uh, from a quick appraisal, once I get up my notes. Do, 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 do. These bars are, uh, it did not right. save my notes for, that's too much money for lions. Uh, so, one second. <laughs> How heavy is a silver bar? <laughs> I'd imagine it depends on... <laughs> depends on the less, silver bar. Less heavy than a lion pelt. Yes, generally. Uh, so, a silver bar is about uh, 6.25 pounds. Hmm. Oh boy. Yeah. Let that know. Alright. And doing the conversion, because there is a trade goods conversion to save my butt... So, each silver bar would be worth about 30 gold pieces. Not bad. Thank you very much. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, glad to have those out of the way. Now the roads are safer for so many more people. Yes, and then um, I do have one more thing, um, and I pull out uh, the other, like, lion's teeth that uh, I didn't give to our archers. Um, uh, this is to help out with your little armory um, as a donation. Ah, thank you very much. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll send this to the armory post-haste. Thank you. You're very welcome. Um, now, are we allowed to make Dario an honorary member? <laughs> He uh, looks over at Dario. <laughs> He's still outside Dar over by the horse. Because I, I know he doesn't look it, but that dog really, really, as they say, kicked ass. Um. <laughs> so. Or the, or the eight lines. <laughs> so generally we don't allow animals into Tanglewood Lodge. Like, not necessarily like, into the lodge, as in they cannot enter the building that is Tanglewood Lodge. But as members, we don't really do that. We can provide a good reference! It's not a question of references, and even if it was, you're like the first level <laughs> of member <laughs> of the lodge. Okay. Well, he's a member of the lodge in my heart. <laughs> not on the books, though. Not on the books. Okay, that, that, that is okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But, good. Uh, do you want us to go out and do another job, like, immediately, or just keep it at our own pace? Uh, at your own pace is fine. Uh, Sedaria is a big place, uh, and while we do appreciate any and all help we can get, uh, if you have been adventuring for as long as you apparently have before coming here, there's, uh, no doubt in my mind you'd have other things to do. 
Yeah. The world Fair is enough. our oyster, as they say. Yeah. Well, um, until next time, then. Of course. Uh, well, he says, uh, giving uh, a quick salute as you head on out. Woohoo! Don't worry, Dario, just ignore the meme, man. <laughs> <laughs> that doggy. <laughs> oh, to be head empty. No! <laughs> I'm just gonna check what Dario's intelligence is real quick. <laughs> Dario I didn't say no thoughts. <laughs> well, uh, he is, like, the smartest in terms of not really sentient animals that you can possibly get with an intelligence of six. His wisdom's yeah. higher than the average commoner, though, so... We do have a druid. That's we can use that. <laughs> oh my god, we found it. The dog of wisdom. The dog of wisdom. He's the, smart oh, yeah. he's the smartest dog. It's almost like saying he's the tallest dwarf. <laughs> Alright, where do we go now? Listen, I don't... You've, you've met the tallest dwarf. He was the hammer of blood oh, yeah. guilt leader. He was fucking ripped. <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that was just yeah. a regular man. <laughs> that was a brick. That was a brick of a man. Yeah, I think to... he was bigger than most regular men, actually. <laughs> Let me go on with my silly little references. Anyways, where should we go next? I don't know. What is pressing? Well, right. uh, we had a succubus problem up north. Is there are also cultists yeah. attempting yeah. to raise, you know, a, 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 the, a, a dead, a giant dead dinosaur to worship, which would probably not be good if that happened. Uh, yeah. Which we're also asked to investigate that by. Uh, uh, I think our else. quest log is broken. Is it? Oh. No, I've got it up. I think so. No, oh, I've no. got it up right now. Megan, quick, control oh. alt delete. Because I'm, I'm seeing, I'm seeing under journal, I'm seeing like the cool quests, uh, and not the quest button. I don't even know where it is to be honest. Uh, the quest button's like all the way at the bottom. All the way down, yeah. Like quest yeah, log yeah. at the bottom. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. It looks fine to me. It might just be cut off on your end. Weird. Yeah. I will Weird. refresh the page. Either way, uh, the answer is uh, Magiris is the one who gave you that quest. Yes. Thank you. So um, there's also the fact that uh, we're still on the hook for acarites as well. Yeah. So true yeah, that. So we need to find some acarites. <laughs> now yeah, that we have a way stay. to actually damage the creature, that's also an option. Yeah. No, I was about to say, should we start that acarite quest? Because that's been in the back for a bit. Or we could slay the Mad King. <laughs> Oh, there's the question. It's log. just yeah, north it's... of us. Let's go. Let's go. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do the Ganondorf underpants run. Here we go now again. See, now ah! you guys are talking my language. All right. We also we're gonna see uh, Tiki. We're, we're gonna see yes. if, uh, see about the thing with Tiki. Yes, 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 or else. Uh, Direction is Tiki. Maybe. Uh, Tiki's there. Yeah, Tiki's Tiki is west. uh somewhere at the oh, north west. end of the lake. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. So like a north northwest. Yeah, mm. northwest. Yeah. A little too close to the a little too close to the. When else will be good? When else will be good to do that? You're not technically in, like, castle territory until you get <laughs> one space north, so you can, like, skirt around the edges of it. There's a path that way that goes, like, through the eastern edge of the wildlands and not into the heartland. All right. All and right, then a so... horde of hobgoblins with machine guns came out. <laughs> I mean, no, oh, the, no, the... How terrible. <laughs> we might run into a Carnotaurus. The goblins <laughs> with guns are on the southeast side. <laughs> They could share. True. They could share. <laughs> they could share. You're telling me goblins with guns would share those guns. True, though. With other goblins. I, it's not, not so much really. sharing yeah. as it's other goblins taking. Mm. Yeah, sharing. It's caring. Sharing. <laughs> 
More like concealed carry. Hey. <laughs> All right. God. So, uh, you continue along the road uh, and then start curving off towards where the entrance to the Wildlands is, going north of the research expedition. Dusk falls, and it's time for camp. All right, let's. Uh, that's 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 Phelan. This is Megan. Da, 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 da. What do my robot eyes perceive? Not much. Not, <laughs> Not a much. whole lot. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Big shrug. Okay. Well. Next person. <laughs> <laughs> One more momento, I'm juggling a bit here. All good. How dare you not have your character sheet out blocking your entire map screen at all times? <laughs> <laughs> I'm smart like that. Right, you're just like furiously hovering over the the perception check button. You're just like, <sighs> when's my turn? <laughs> <laughs> just just double click the top of your character sheet to minimize it. That's what I've been doing. Uh. So, uh, Phelan, you hear uh, the metallic tromping sound of several metal boots. <laughs> oh, that's not <really> good. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Let's see where those are coming from. Uh, sounds like they're coming from the north. To the north I look. Wait, to the north I look. Definitely looks like a patrol of hobgoblins. These guys ever sleep? Nah. Hobgoblins, they're ADHD monsters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, patrol is just their stim. Exactly. <laughs> cursed. Very cursed. All right. Not gonna do anything as long as they're doing as as long as they're not coming this way. They're going along the road. Uh, you are a good distance away from the main road, but they might spot you. Oh goody! <laughs> so, uh. Mm -hmm. Down low. Ooh, I so, love uh, watching it. <laughs> down low. Let's keep on the down low. Not gonna try and engage. Down low. We're all asleep. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> nobody, nobody snore too loud. <laughs> what? I'm not. <laughs> Anyways. All right. Uh, you I keep things on the down low. And if they're still around, if they're still around after my shift, I am letting Nizip know. <laughs> Whoever's third shift, just be like, "Hey, hobgoblins are nearby." All right. Just an FYI. The hobgoblins continue down the road. <laughs> they get within sight distance of the camp. <laughs> they pass by. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> yeah. <Cool. laughs> All right. I say asleep. And third watch. Oh boy. That's not my character sheet. Character sheet, where'd you go? There you are. Wow, I'm just consistent apparently. Another twenty-five. Let's nice. Go. Uh, so, you can see, kind of, in the, in the path ahead where you're going, uh, like, a lot of the Wildlands has, the Wildlands being the dinosaur area, has signs of, oh, a lot of animals have tromped through here, uh, big ones, small ones, etc. Uh, this one, this general area, from what you can tell... The grass is mostly untrampled, as if animals are avoiding this area. Mmm. Don't like that. 
Oh well, probably nothing. <laughs> oh well. All right. Morning comes. Another clear blue sky as we head out into dinosaur time. Rawr. Rawr. All right. Dinosaur. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. You get an early start, uh, and it looks like uh, there are raptors of some kind that have also gotten an early start, uh, with very pale feathers covering them, uh, eyes, like, also very pale white, uh, would be glowing in the the in the darkness but the sun is rising and there's very little darkness they're uh, sniffing around this general area how many of them are there uh looks like a a pretty small pack about uh about 4 in total we can take them we may not have to. I mean, the gestures. Plenty of us, so... Hmm. Exactly, that's why we can take them. <laughs> you made it a fight, right? Exactly. <laughs> a fight as opposed to what? Oh, oh you know. Swift knows. I don't. Yeah. Swift knows? <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> You know, guys, some of you like to resort to violence a bit too quickly. You're, you're just realizing this? Uh, oh, I realize it for a bit, but I've kept quiet. But <laughs> the point is, sometimes it's best to simmer in other ways. You know, um, somebody in my village had a saying once, hugs, not drugs. Well, it's a good what thing I didn't the fuck is wrong with them? <laughs> Which I know doesn't work for some. I'm not saying don't do that, but what it means is sometimes you can just walk past. I, I, I'm not stupid enough to hug a raptor. <laughs> no, runs but... and says sometimes we must pick our battles wisely. Oh, yeah, I know. There you go. Yeah, and I while mean, this battle seems wise to you because there's only four of them, um, well, let, let's just call it a self-defense if, because they might not even bother us in the first place. Yeah. And I yeah. personally don't uh, condone just killing everything I see on site. Killing for the sake of killing. <laughs> yeah. Which is why I haven't just charged them. I appreciate that. See, I might, I might want to resort to violence, but I'm not just going to do so if no one else yeah. thinks that's the right solution in the situation. I'm is... not a murder hobo. Hey, and this is why communication is important. <laughs> yeah, that's why we're talking. But, you know, we'll continue forward. Uh, if they attack, well, then so be it. Leave what... <laughs> Leave wildlife alone, she says, unless they attack us. Sounds good to me. Um, I'm just <laughs> going to... Ty, Ty will, like, hop up onto, like, Torque's back. I'm going to get a bit of high ground, because I'm a little smaller than all of you. <laughs> and I don't want to be... Well, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Megan says, eaten by, eaten by raptors. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that would really put a damper on everything. Megan, no. At least for just me. <laughs> yeah, just a I bit. Suppose. No, it would bring down the mood considerably. All right. Uh, you continue forward. Uh, the raptors uh, look up, turn their uh, heads towards you, and uh, scatter off towards the west as soon as you come, like, within a hundred yards of them. Oh, they were scared of us. As they That's should they be. Figured. I mean, they're not that big. True. They're smart. That They're too. clever girl. Who knows? They might be getting reinforcements. 
Kai yeah, says, obviously they, joking. You know. Oh no, a big raptor. Y- you say you're joking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, but it's always a possibility. I mean, you there know. are big raptors here, says Barkat. Speaking of Barkat, uh, what is the beef between you and Tanglewood? I just have to know. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> yeah. So, do you want, like, the short version or the slightly less short version? Because I don't less short. Okay, because I don't trust y'all enough for the long version. <laughs> Fair. Okay. <laughs> All right. Fair. So, uh... The problem with guilds that cover a uh, general area is that they expect anyone within that area who does what they practice to follow their codes of conduct. So mm. me and my partner, we don't really care about that. We're we're into like big game. We're into proving our worth. We're into getting cool trophies. And Tanglewood's like, no, don't do that. That that Triceratops wasn't hurting anybody. What will its children do? And I was like, I don't know, step into my partner's bear trap? I mean, I thought that was funny, but Tanglewood didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's funny either. As yeah, out you... of contact, I la- out of character, I laugh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you would, Tanglewood Fletch. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tangled just, Fletch derogatory <laughs> Just because I can read the room I'm just gonna psionic whisper Send him, I think it's funny Thank you, I appreciate you <laughs> It's only Slightly funny So anyway, one dead baby Triceratops Later and Tanglewood was like <laughs> Do not deal with this man Or his partner ever <laughs> Yikes. Who's your partner? A uh, dwarf by the name of Malrim. Let me let me spell that out for you. Thank you. You fall on a bear trap too? Yeah. I mean <laughs> Oh no, no, he's just off doing his own thing right now. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, he's kinda like me, uh wandering adventure type, uh I would say look for him, but we have a very huge wandering party already. Mm. Well, you didn't want to wander together? Eh, we figured, you know, better if we covered more ground. I'm sure he wouldn't object if we worked together. Mm. Totally won't betray us in any way at all. (laughs) (laughs) It turns out he's got a gun and wants to shoot me. Oh, no! (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> He's got a god. He stole it from the goblins. Well, um, glad you all managed to settle your differences of um, philosophy, I suppose. I wouldn't call it settled so much as they want an apology, and I will die before I give one. You are the most Be- valid. <laughs> that fuck that shit. The- the lodge and I kind of differ because I don't expect you to give an apology after traveling with you for this long. <laughs> if See, they're still expecting an apology from you, I don't. <laughs> they, that's they, a them problem. The Frank, frankly, if they were to get an apology, I'd be more concerned. Like, who are you and what did you do with Barcat? Mm-hmm. Concern. See, you people get me. You people get me. <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right. Hey, grunts, as long as we have targets to shoot for you. <laughs> that actually did increase Barkat's loyalty to the high loyalty <laughs> percentage. So if you ask, <laughs> so if you somehow asked him again, he might give you the full story. But nope, <laughs> that wouldn't make sense right now anyway. That's so funny though. Wait for the rest. <laughs> you can wait for the rest. All right. Uh, so high loyalty, Barkat gains the ability to bite as a bonus action. <laughs> <laughs> love I love that for hell him. yeah. <laughs> Finally! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. Chomp. I can go yeah. chomp. I can go nyomp. Let's go. Oh my god, you can eat lion steaks with Dario. Mm-hmm. And if he succeeds on a bite, uh, that means he does not need any more food or water for the day. <laughs> oh, oh wow. wow. He All rips right. out a chunk of their flesh? He rips out a chunk of their flesh and is satiated. 
Hell oh, yeah. That's amazing. Literally, thank you for this rock. He knows what he's about. Oh my gosh. I love him. Wow, this is practical. All right. All right. So, you continue on the road uh, through the wildlands. Not actually a road at this point. It's more like pathways of untrodden ground. Uh, and uh, as you travel, you get a whiff of something uh, somehow both very sweet and very pungent at the same time. It appears to be coming from uh, a grotto about uh, 500, 700 yards off the path. Santa. Do I recognize Sorry. this smell? Mm. Nature check. Oh, that's ominous. <laughs> All right. Uh, 18. So you do recognize the smell. Uh, there's a lot of smells that are all put together here, so you could pick some of them out. But in general, mm -hmm. it smells like coming from the grotto are a lot of poisonous plants. Okay. Um, cool, cool, cool. So... Love that for us. The smelly smell that smells smelly. Um, yeah, <laughs> a lot of those are poisonous plants. I I don't know if we want to take like a different route in that Maybe. case, or yeah. it's best just be, be wary careful. of. It's best we be wary of. We're swift. What? I just wanted to smell. <laughs> swift. We can't get distracted. You can't get distracted. I get distracted very easily. <laughs> Uh, do you think harvesting them your... is worth it, Trill? Do you believe? Harvest, uh, um... Let me put it this way. Poison kills things very well. It's true. It does. Especially um, if you mix it into things. Do I have the know-how to harvest poisonous plants um, safely? Uh, nature check will, uh, like, be able to safely harvest them, uh, Poisoner's Kit is what is going to be required to make them. Without a Poisoner's Kit, it would be a straight D20 to, like, use the poison effectively. Right. Okay. Um, well, I do not have a Poisoner's Kit, but if anyone does or is planning on getting one, I can uh, do my best to harvest my, the plants. Would my, nat would my natural resistance to poison help in any way? It perhaps would. <laughs> Yeah, if, like, if Megan wants to harvest them with, like, Trill's guidance, um, because yeah. I'm proficient in nature checks, if, like, that helps get, like, advantage uh, for Megan well, to Well, first off, is anyone proficient with a poisoner's kit? So, like, can we even use yeah. them? No. <laughs> looks looks at Nizip. Are you proficient in poisoner's kits? I don't know. I'm racking my brain and checking everything. <laughs> you can check your... Features and stuff. That's what I'm trying to find. Yeah, what did you say? <laughs> what <we're> proficient is <laughs> stuff? Yep. Uh, uh, probably on the front page. Not a for me. Yeah, because it, it doesn't even say I'm proficient in thieves' tools on the front yeah, page. So I'm like, I know that's not right. Oh, yeah, my proficiencies are gone too, because I know I'm proficient in like the herbalism kit. That's dumb. Uh, I don't, I don't think it's that they're is... gone, it's just they're not there. <laughs> There's no yeah. option for them. You have weapons and languages, and that's it. That's weird. Well, no tools for us. <laughs> oh, that's mm. weird. If I if I hit the edit button, the tools thing pops up for me. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Conf uh, that's so weird that it only shows up under edit. Um, unfortunately, no. I'm only proficient in thieves' tools and playing cards. Okay, mm. well, let's, we don't have to bother then. I mean, we could get someone who's proficient. We could, but then we we, we know where these plants are growing was, anyway, so... We Lady, know where they're growing. Was Lady Scarlet proficient? Uh, Scarlet, let me check. Scarlet was proficient in herbalism kit... But you know what? It would make sense for her as a character to be proficient in terms of Poisoner's Kit, so... I'm just gonna sneakily add that. <laughs> <laughs> She's also, like, busy at the moment. Yeah. Doing her thing. We could mark it on the map, at least. I will 
Yeah, we, we could probably yeah. mark it on the map. I will say I, it might also be, you know, poisonous plants and all that might also be good for like making antidotes and medicines. Possibly. Potentially. Yeah. Do you think you'd be um, able to do that with an herbalism kit? Uh, true. Um, I, I don't know if that would be able to get rid of the poisonous effect of the plants. Uh, I don't know. Does it work that way? Because I was going to ask if I could, if there were like any non-poisonous plants I could look for for like my kit anyway. Uh, in general, you can always just say I'm looking for plants and uh, make a roll for that as you go along the journey. Uh, in the grotto, I'm always looking for plants. <laughs> yeah, you're always looking for plants. Remind me so I can pull up the list. Okay. Though. <laughs> yeah, no worries. I keep forgetting. Like whenever we're moving, I'm just like, oh wait. Shit, I wanted to look for plants. Be, I, should for pl I should be looking for plants. Yep. All right. Uh, but in general, in the grotto, it doesn't seem like there's anything non-poisonous. I will say for herbalism kit purposes, uh, since you're proficient in both nature and herbalism kit, I'll let you use an herbalism kit to uh, try harvesting the plants and turning them into something usable. The DC would be higher. Hmm. Okay. I mean, it's worth a shot, I think, like... Yeah, why not? Um, and if anything, if I have the plants on hand and, like, we find someone, like, maybe a merchant or someone is uh, adept at using, like, a poisoner's kit, like, they could do something for us. I was thinking that somebody in the hmm. merchant ring might want sure. them. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, so a nature check Maybe. for harvesting, or do we want? Oh yeah, do we want Megan to do that? Do you want, do you want um, me to go in so that we have that extra layer of like not getting not resistant to poison? Sure. Okay, so that would be nature with advantage. Do you know what you need? You need some bardic inspiration. It's I do. I have plus one, have plus one in nature. I... <laughs> All, right. All right. Click over my features and yeah. Uh, so the the plants themselves. Uh, are easy to see once you step into the grotto. It, nature's required to, like, harvest them. Uh, among the plants, okay. there are a couple of them. Uh, there uh, are some purple-gray fibrous plants with straight stems growing around three feet tall with, like, spirally arranged leaves. Uh, as I go check a whole lot of notes. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. Uh, a, a plant growing in clumps uh, with round, hollow gray leaves. Uh, a blood red rose with a black stem and small reddish thorns. Uh, big purple uh, ferns that look like giant uh, yucca plants, but with like spikes along the sides of them. Uh, and uh, what you can immediately recognize without even needing a check uh, as hemlock is growing here, as well as trees that have, like, uh, a reddish-brownish-black bark, uh, smell incredibly sweet, and let me just look up what uh, else is on this tree, because it's got some details. Reddish-grayish bark, small greenish-yellow flowers, shiny green leaves, and uh, fruit on it, which looks uh, like a green or greenish-yellow apples. Right. I take it the fruit themselves are also poisonous. Probably. Uh, like, you can definitely smell the poison, uh, and your sc score was high enough to identify uh, by smell. Uh, Twilight Wormwood is the uh, is one of the plants, as I go double-check, hey, which plant was that? That was the one that grew up to, like, three feet tall. Twilight Wormwood is probably the safest to handle. It can be uh, brewed into basic poison vials. Uh, okay. As well as... Da, 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 uh, the clumpy bulb uh, plants are known as ash chives, which can be crafted into burnt other fumes. Sorry, what was that? <laughs> uh, burnt other fumes. Huh. Okay, I heard ass chives. Ash. Ash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, excuse me? <laughs> Got it. Well, your ass is chives if you inhale that shit, <laughs> let me tell you. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
With sight, you can attempt to identify more of these plants, by the way. With sight? Yeah, now that you can actually see them rather than smell them. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me know when you want um, me to grab something. Um, I'm made of metal and I'm hard grab to be poisoned. As, yeah, grab as much as you can carry, I guess. I guess, like, maybe, like, a couple things of each. Okay. Just to have. Okay. All right, so that's just nature. So, uh, you know that uh, twilight, uh, the twilight moss, sorry, twilight wormwood and ash chives <laughs> are safe to handle and pick up. So Megan, get those, no problem. You don't know if the rest okay. are safe to handle. Okay. Uh, nature check the, will help the identify ones. these. Let's identify some things. Mm. Unfortunate. Uh, Unfortunate. The inspiration pool is full. True, uh, we can't get more if it's full. Can't get more if it's full. Uh, let's try that again, shall we, if everyone agrees? Sure, yeah, you're good at this. I'm curious to see these plants. No! <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm good at this. Uh -huh. <laughs> Rolls a nat one. I'm, Rolls a nat so one! Let's go! I'm so good no. at this. If the if the pool is full and we we'll only use one, go ahead and use another. Yeah, uh, let's not uh, waste them. What? How? What is our pool cap? Four. 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 Got it. I mean, I'll use it if everyone like is okay with using it. But uh... like, um, I think just for harvesting some plants, I don't think it's yeah, I, quite I don't, worth I don't it. Worth it. Yeah. I just don't um, want you to die. I don't want to die we're either, gonna, um, but I appreciate. We're not, not going to die. Yeah, <laughs> we probably won't. Grab, we don't. We probably don't like need need them. Yeah, we'll this, just grab what what we just... what you got and uh, yeah. just right. continue forth. Um, are do probably not with these nature checks. Um, are like do these plants like secrete any? like spores or anything or like make the air any sort of like uh, volatile none of them appear to be producing spores uh, the tree is producing like a milky white sap okay so probably don't touch the sap <laughs> all right uh, all right so uh you got uh, four units of Twilight Wormwood and one Ash Chive. <laughs> ash Chives, Ash Chives, Ash Chives. I'm going to turn this caravan around, so help me. You're going to touch the Death Tree. Lick the Death Tree. Lick the Death Tree! I can't, I don't have a tongue. Coward. One. <laughs> Just get Swift to do it for you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Swift, live, lick the death tree. <laughs> I. Swift licks the death tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Poison no. immediately <laughs> kills Swift. That... Not the way she lived. I, I was gonna say I'd pick her one Many shroom times. as a tree. <laughs> girl should. One shroom is a tree. She's not getting it. <laughs> What do you mean she's not getting it? She's just following people's directions. <laughs> and that's on her. She well, doesn't have to follow all these directions. Yeah. But it's funnier if she does. Mm-hmm. Maybe a little bit. Oh, I found how to get tools to see the proficiencies. On your skills, there's the sliders on the top right corner. You click on that, it switches between the two. Oh. Oh. That's silly. Oh, yeah. okay. I see. I had... I had to go through the fa FAQ in order to find it. Uh, That's dumb. That's Look a little silly, but I get it. Thank you. Wait, Swift, go on the map. How do I... Swift! <laughs> click her avatar and click on the map. Look at uh, another, the map. There she is. <laughs> another interesting tidbit. Rules is written. <laughs> Only assassins get access to the Poisoner's Kit. There's no other way to get it. Rules is written. What? Damn. Yeah. Oh. I have become out of scale! 
<laughs> oh, so you be a giant swift in despair. Why did you lick the tree? Look what's happened. <laughs> I see this as an absolute win. I have mixed feelings about this. Oh, uh, let's did see. It, did what's, it taste good? No. <laughs> well, All right. With her, then don't do it again. With her new size, does she get more hit points too? If so, I can see this being beneficial. Oh my Two God. hit points for Swift. <laughs> Two hit points, points are double. For Swift. She's like that yeah. one in in the new Lord Corner set. There's a giant Tinkerbell card. That's what she is right now. <laughs> I just imagine that like giant Swift comes out and then she like stamps on like a rock. It looks like a Lego and she takes four damage and dies. <laughs> I can only cast this spell so many times. She stepped on a d4, took d4 damage. Oof, ouch. Oh, good. She rolled minimum damage. Unfortunate for her still. Yep. Right. Swift, you're not allowed anything else. How dare you? I, I do am dare. and offended. I'm not talking After to you everything... for the what? next five minutes. But... After everything you've been through together, you so... deny Swift her drugs. Swift, I have to ask, are you two, like, cosmically stuck together now? Is that how this works? Yeah, basically. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> do, you en do you enjoy being cosmically stuck to them? <laughs> I, <What? laughs> I, would, I would say it's nice having uh, a straight guy, but, well, Nyx is obviously not straight, and, uh, you know. What?! <laughs> <laughs> Nick, you're not straight. Uh, I didn't consider. <laughs> and what? puts a hand on Nick's and says, "We." I mean, it's okay if you're not. You like, I don't have a problem. Because... Like <laughs> we accept you no matter <laughs> who you love. Listen, I'm not gay, but I don't really care. <laughs> also, Swift is kind of not cool to out people if they're not ready. <laughs> <laughs> that you put it that way. I, I, I don't care. <laughs> but Swift, if you had a, if you had an issue with this, you could have told me. I think I did. No, you didn't. For sure, I did. You just got high. Oh man, I forgot. I'm not talking to you for the next five minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you, you broke only after one minute. One minute, oh. eight seconds to be Shoot. precise. Yeah. Broke my fairy out. Bye. Swift disappears. <laughs> <laughs> we can talk about this later. <laughs> Man, I'm wow. asking all the right questions today, apparently. You really are. <laughs> you are. Apparently. I'm loving this domestic tension we've got going on today. <laughs> all right. I will. Well, shall we continue forward where we're not surrounded by a lot of poisonous plants? Probably. Let's go. Swift, all you right. can go pick one shroom. <laughs> you don't hear anything from As Swift. A treat. <laughs> she vanished. She's yeah. gone. Bye -bye. Yeah, she, bro she broke her actually out. straight up left. She <laughs> can't break out! <laughs> She's not a paladin! <laughs> that you know of. That you know of, yeah. It's okay, she'll come back. Famous last words. <laughs> All right. Dusk falls once again as you uh, get a campsite that is thankfully not downwind of the death trees. That's, that's a blessing. Good. Good. All right. All right. Does she come back? All right, let's, let's perceive. You don't know, she's fucking invisible. Anyway, you perceive. Uh, everything looks pretty clear. You're about to cross over one of the twin rivers, and uh, it looks like there's not a whole lot of like animal gatherings that would cause danger near them for your trip. At least tonight, there's not. <laughs> like grunts, who walks up to, walks up to Waylon and says, No trouble. And then returns to sleep mode. Mm. All right, second watch. Second watch is BR being. <laughs> ah, rip. I see. Someone else can do second uh, watch. Uh, fine. If you wake, if you wake Trill up, like Trill's fine with doing second watch. Okay, well, go back to bed, Tig. <laughs> I think Trill sounds, Trill sounds more enthusiastic, so we we will wake Trill for the next watch. I learn how to read. 
I'm so sad. I'm not seeing my dice on my screen. And... Aww. That's the saddest. Uh, I know. But congratulations. Uh, you see exceptionally well. Uh, it looks like a pretty clear night, all things considered. Uh, barely any clouds in the sky. You can see the stars from here. Uh, this is lovely. All right. All right. And I'm going to wake up, uh, I assume, Nizip. Here comes the cosmic Nilbog. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remember who you are. You're my son <laughs> and the one true king. Summoner, Summoner. We finally found Nizip's oh. deadbeat dad. We found <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna be whiplash. Just, can you go on? Can you go on living knowing that your father was a nilbog, with the cosmic nilbog? I. <laughs> there was no cosmic nilbog. The night is clear. <laughs> <laughs> but just like imagine, though. No. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, no, God. Nick's no. Nick's would just the the thousand yard stare. Just, huh? You're sure you didn't lick one of the poison trees? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, the morning comes. Uh, it is another beautiful day out. Wah to the who. Yay. Wah to the who. It's a wonderful day to walk down the road, and if I ever stop singing, I will explode. Hey, how are you doing? What have you done? Uh, All right. Hello? What was that? That was a flash from the past. <laughs> so, uh, as you continue along your trek, uh, passing <laughs> over the river and into the woods, to grandmother's house we go, uh, <laughs> you encounter heading the other way, opposite of uh, your direction, a incredibly jacked-looking elf with a, a great axe slung uh over his back. Oh. It's like Nick's cocks the head like what? <laughs> oh, so not only are they not only are they not straight, but they're also in Tabarat. <laughs> I see. <laughs> well then. Shall we say hello? Hello. <laughs> Yes, please. <laughs> the, uh, the elf turns, he gives a salute. Oh, there. <laughs> Hi! Uh, nice to see someone. <laughs> I don't know what to say! Megan, Megan walks up. To, Megan walks up to Nix and says, "It's okay if you are shy. I have seen this many times before on my travels." I think I just jumped into this a bit too quick. Uh, who? What's your name? Um, nice to see someone. Too. Yeah. Um, Al Alwarith. Uh, my name is Alwarith. Alwarith. I apologize. You'll have to forgive my friend. He, they're having their gay awakening. I, what? No. <laughs> I see. <laughs> that is um lies. Uh, what? Whoa! You're making this worse. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! He's so bad. <laughs> Daddy Longbeak's back in California, baby. <laughs> well, um. <clears throat> My name's, uh, Nyx. Yes, m my name's Alwarith. Y you j yeah, you just said that. <laughs> oh, oh, um. Yeah. It is. Oh my oh. god. Oh, they're both socially awkward. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, where are you off to? Uh, I was, uh, I was heading down southeast to the jungles. So the exact opposite direction. <laughs> the exact opposite direction you guys are heading, apparently. Why would you want to go there? Uh, well, for a, for a multitude of reasons, all linking back to the one self-same reason. Which is? Which is? Uh, I, uh, 
I am of a clan of elves, uh, headed by the legendary uh, Dudeni Axthane, that is no longer around. I seek to honor their legacy. Oh, very honorable. Yes. You can ask what the what Alvarath seeks to fulfill that uh, to fulfill that then in the jungles. Uh, that used to be the home of uh, the axe thing. Uh, in there are his uh, his treasures, uh, his legendary weapon, I believe, the axe of the Thane itself. Uh, as he is no longer around, I seek to find it and prove myself worthy of it. And worthy of carrying on his mantle. Oh, that's really cool. I get nods, thumps her chest, and says that says that a warrior with a warrior with purpose, with with a noble purpose, is a strong one. That is true. I am very strong. Can't use axes, but have we heard that name before? Because that sounds familiar. I believe you have. Let's look in the notes. Woohoo, note digging. Uh, here we go. Oh. This guy had the seal of the elves. Mm-hmm. Ah. Uh, so, uh... Had the elf we... boat, it was sent to the jungles, which is where he's going! <laughs> so, we want to change our mind on what direction we're going and totally not make this guy think that he's getting hit on more. We're just stalking him! <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, um, actually, do you mind if you, uh, we tag along? <laughs> no, not to be too forward, but... <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I'd love to help you on your journey. It sounds amazing. Oh my god, go get a tent already. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Fucking are, hell. You, are, are, you, are you saying all this out loud? Yeah. No. I, I was not. <laughs> yeah, no. I, okay. I do not have a tent. I only have a blanket. Should I get a tent? I could carry it pretty easily. You, do you want a tent? I don't need a tent. Well, there you go. Oh, you like well, the stars? <laughs> what stars? It's day in a forest. No, I mean at night when you're sleeping, you just look up at the stars. I can't look at stars when I'm sleeping. My eyes would be closed. Aren't you an elf? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Can you trance about the stars? <laughs> I'd be looking forward, not up. Oh. I... Have yeah. you ever looked up at night? <laughs> Just curious. Yes. All right. D do you do you see stars <laughs> usually? It's <laughs> like it's, it's really strange to me. Like I what what's being implied here is that you just never see stars. Oh. No, I, I I can see stars if I look up. Okay. All right. Do they not really do it for you? <laughs> Why would I look up when I can look forward? Usually enemies aren't coming from up. Whoa. Very was... pragmatic man. You might want to look up occasionally as you continue traveling yeah. that yeah, direction, could be... though, considering the pteranodons. Yeah. Could be a dragon uh, as well. <laughs> I would hit them with my axe. <laughs> <laughs> well, Isaac looks the axe up and down. You'd be very good at it. Yeah. Yes, I would. Yeah, well... Hey, um, you should join us in camp sometime. We can have a stargazing night. Which way are you going? <laughs> oh, the the other way. Surprisingly, we're going southeast. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, we're actually. Oh, going we are. Southeast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting and mixed it's messages. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, bring, bring a paddle, says Carolina. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, make a psychic sad. link. Puddle. Psychic link. Uh, <laughs> Like so, a quick group puddle. <laughs> group puddle. 
Did everyone just collectively lose a brain cell when they saw the hot elf or something? Like, that's what I want to know. No, he's not that hot. That sounds like the case. Uh, no, it's not that he's hot. I've just never seen a muscular elf before. See, no, I lost the brain cell when Nick saw the elf. <laughs> <laughs> Megan, Megan just wasn't Megan just wasn't talking because like she's socially awkward from the beginning. <laughs> no, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Not my type. <laughs> Says Carolina with a shrug. Yeah, Fuel, mine neither. Fuel. Yeah, Fuel Fuel is not, just not so mine weird. either. <laughs> Fuel is just but so I. <laughs> yeah, I too am caught off guard by just buff the size, elf. the size of this man. Yeah. And I can't believe the entire party has come down with himbo fever. Except for Megan, who's I'm just a robot. Like, oh, huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Froyland just like, can I be that ripped someday? If you work, Megan says, yeah. it, it's a lot Megan of work. If you, eat, if you eat well and you work hard. So, so you, what you was this about jacked? suddenly changing directions? To refocus. What was this about suddenly changing directions? If memory serves, the guy he's trying to honor that he's getting the axe from had the seal of the elves. Well, it was sent there, but it never made it to the Elven city in the jungle. Axthane himself kicked it before the coronation. Though I can't recall mm. what happened exactly. Would it still be possible that the seal is with his axe? Because it wouldn't debate it to the place, but. I mean, could be. See. All right. There's going into the jungle. That is also where, you know, the whole plague thing is going mm. on. Yeah. yeah. I'm concerned about that whole mess yeah. that's happening. Are we... happening. Megan also grunts about the Yuan T grunts something about the Yuan T. Yeah. yeah. Physically are we ready for that? I mean, I know we just killed Korok and everything, but um th that's a lot. <laughs> Unfortunately, we won't know until we try. True, but if we don't go with this unit of an elf, <laughs> um, should we perchance warn him about what's yes. going on in that area? Megan nods. I'd be surprised if he didn't know already. Also concerned. Yeah. But, um, I mean, sure, warning him would be a good idea. The other thing is that before we actually end up committing to a um, southeastern journey is we should maybe uh, work with Shava about the whole, you know, plague cure thing. That might be Yeah, yeah Maybe getting the cure first might help. Yeah. yeah. He might know a lot about the jungle, but he might not know about the plague cure possibility, says Helena. Mm. So, yeah, sure. and he might be willing to, like, delay it if it means getting some safety from said plague. <laughs> Yeah, because that's mm -hmm. the other part that I was concerned about, is that I'm worried that this guy's gonna go off, and if we don't go with him or change this course, he's gonna die and we're gonna get really fucked for the clues that we do have. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> well, so go on then, warn him. Let's warn him about the plagues, and... Uh... Yeah. 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 So, uh... Megan... Okay. So just to recap, Megan, uh, Megan continuing on uh, your course, not heading towards, uh, the Eastern Front, yes? Yes, not quite yet. We, we yeah, I think so. The, yeah, we okay. need to know how to cure the plague first before, uh, actually getting to the plague area. True. Okay. Megan turns back towards... Uh, Elwarith, and she mentioned she talked she uh, she says that currently there is a uh, there's a deathly plague uh, going going through the jungle. Uh, 
and uh, that he might want to he might want to put a pin in this for a bit. Okay. Okay. Yes, that is what I said. Oh, that was easy. It is very easy to say okay, yes. Yes. Now, now, when you say okay, are you acknowledging what we've told you and are going to disregard that information because you have a goal, or are you going to put a pin in this and wait until there's not a plague what does happening? What matter? I was going to find a town and stock up on a lot of antitoxin. That is a good idea. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I don't think... I'm not sure if that'll help well, given the nature of the plague are, that was are you, over there. Just, just sorry to pry, I know we've only just met. Are you like a soldier or something? Uh, I... I am not employed in a military. Uh, you could best describe me as uh, a warrior of the Axe Thane. Warrior of the Axe Thane. So, I mean, you've been doing this for a while, right? Yes. Yeah, then he, he'd know what he was doing. Surely. I'm, I... I think the Axe Thane would, yes. Yeah, I, I would assume so. <laughs> well, well hey. uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. If you continue on your path, uh, also just a heads up, there's a, a grotto full of poisonous plants, so just don't, don't eat, eat or interact <laughs> with any of those plants if you reach that area. I will stock up on more antitoxin. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> All right. Good call. There's not a town in between here and where that is, so. <laughs> okay. Well, very nice to meet you. Maybe we'll see you again. <laughs> yep. Good luck. He says good fortune, yeah. Alvarez. Good luck. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Take us up on that stargazing. And he just walks off. Ah. Uh, <laughs> fuck that one up, guys. <laughs> I can't believe you fumbled a hot bar elf. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> I and Tyg have been losing it on the sidelines this entire time. <laughs> yeah. That, and just big himbo energy. Yeah. Helena just looks over. So you're saying if I went my titties out, then we would also like paralyze people who come across us with uh with awkwardness and fear, right? Yes, actually. Honestly, yeah, actually. <laughs> you're, you're like not... honestly, more so than he did. <laughs> You're not actually going to do that, right? <laughs> Who the fuck do you tag me for? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's time to leave. <laughs> Listen, if you wanted titties out, we could just go to the nearest brothel. <laughs> and you continue along the, the journey through the wild lands, uh, passing to... Uh, <laughs> sorry, go ahead. I get a surprise that that last remark didn't summon Swift back. <laughs> You know, Lily's House of Pleasures is not off the table. <laughs> Once again, you and I put your yes, course instead of the North. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. It's burned down. Oh, wait, no, we, no, no, that was a tavern. That was the tavern. L L Lily's that was House the Pleasures, Rothel. <laughs> yeah, Lily's House of Pleasures is just fine. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Trill's gonna look for more fine. plants. Trill's gonna look for more plants. Please roll a survival check. You got it. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it was almost a 20. Almost a 20. It's a 21. high number. It's almost. still a high number. <laughs> All right. Uh, you find, along some trees, uh, an amber-like fluid uh, that feels uh, pretty warm to the touch. You recognize this as aniseed sap. Hmm. Uh... Aniseed sap is usually used in crafting potions of cold resistance. Ooh. Maybe we should head to the brothel after all. 
What? <laughs> because it's in the cold area. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'll definitely help out when we go back to the tundra. Mm-hmm. All right. And uh, dusk falls as you settle along the edge of a long, winding river. All right. Running mm. water means it's fresh. Good for you fleshlings. Yep. <laughs> Uh-oh. In the meantime, let us see what these robot eyes see. What do your robot eyes see? Uh, they see uh, that this river is uh, pretty well-traveled. Uh, around it are, like, massive footprints. Uh, sauropod size, basically, footprints that have gone along the river bank. Uh, some, like, half, even halfway into the river bank. No sign of any like sauropods nearby, though. Okay, Megan's gonna take this, take the last bits of her watch to just uh, fill up the water bottles that have been used. All righty. And then wake the next person. Let's go. Waylon, it's your turn. Waylon Stone. Oh. My oh, my <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Legendary. Honestly, at this point, it's just funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, see, see what happened was last time you weren't there to witness the nat one. So now the now the dice want revenge. They want they want you to suffer. They want you to they want you to watch. Suffer. Dice were with... dice were jealous that my body was take, was destroying me. So like, nah, our turn, bitch. <laughs> uh, this is just funny, honestly. <laughs> All right. And last watch. <laughs> Oh boy. Here I go perceiving again. All right. Uh Nissa, you notice uh there is a uh, a hill nearby, like a small stony rise uh of like rocks and rugged terrain that wasn't there before. Um, can I stealthily investigate it closer? Sure. You, uh, okay. you creep on over towards, uh, the hill. Uh, it definitely wasn't there before. Uh, but you creep closer. You hear, like, Faint rumbling sounds below the earth where that hill is. Hmm. Don't like that, but I don't rightly know what to do about that. Um. Um, I'm gonna go, um, nudge awake, or break out of trance, rather, the ones that only trance, so Megan, Nyx, and I don't Phelan. Trans. You don't? Okay, well, then fuck you, I won't wake you up. <laughs> No, basically. Megan, technically, like, Megan's already conscious. So, like, she just yeah. needs to be inert. So. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I figure with the timing, it's quite likely that the trancers are technically conscious and just yeah. make them aware of this. Like, um, that wasn't there before. Megan's like, op Megan's optic kind of like apertures a bit, looks at the hill. Mm -hmm. And she points at it, and she asks, that thing? Yeah. There's something moving under the ground, it feels like, or sounds like. Um, I, I would hmm. like to investigate this. All righty. Which I assume would be an investigation rule. <laughs> yes. Okay. 
<laughs> what the heck is this thing? <laughs> yeah. uh, looks like a bunch of rocks. Is there a way for me to use my survival to kind of get an idea for this? If not, that's fine. I can probably invest investigation, uh... but... There is a fine difference between my investigation and survival. Yeah, I'll say yeah. survival will help you, like, see if there are, like, any tracks or any signs of movement that led up to it. Hey, that was almost a one. Um, that was almost a one. I am not saying, I am going to ignore that, 23. All right. Uh, so, uh, you look around. Among the footprints of the sauropods and whatnot, you notice a couple of new ones, uh, gigantic but humanoid in shape that have led up towards this hill uh and stopped at the hill there are signs that uh the rocks haven't actually like been moved but have just kind of formed over where this hill is right now hmm. Hmm. i'm going to sussy <laughs> yeah Gonna be telling these two what I see. <laughs> That's not normal. Humanoid puts, makes me concerned. Megan pulls up. Megan start, puts one hand on her sword, and her eyes kind of like start flash a little bit and warn as, as, as if warning. And she asks, "Bad." Again, I say, you know, the that the they're humanoid prints, but they are bigger than normal. About the forming rocks, you know, everything about that. Just be like, yeah, uh, that's that 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 that, that that's uh, that's not normal. That is not normal. <laughs> that might be a problem. But the question is, is it a problem enough? We wake everyone else. Exactly. Hmm. 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 Do we wake anybody want to? Anybody want to touch him? Yeah, I'll go poke the rocks. Yeah, you poke one of the rocks. It uh, shifts away from you, and you just hear this deep grumbling <laughs> after you poke it. It then just kind of shifts back towards its place, slightly farther away from you. Is that like sort of grumpy sounding? Uh, it sounds like uh, if you poked something that was asleep. Mm, okay. So. Well, if they're sleeping, they're prob they're probably not. They're probably not a huge problem. Nah, just let them be. Let them be. Um, yeah. Megan will. I Megan will return to her rest, return to her resting state, uh, but she will face uh, she will face towards the rocks in case something happens, because she yeah. is, uh, she is technically still conscious. Mm -hmm. I'll just spend the rest of the night watching it as I kind of look through catalogs and be ready to wake everyone up if need be. All right. Wait, let's also just her alarm locks ready just in case. Watching. <laughs> So, couple more, a uh, couple more hours pass. Uh, it's almost before sunrise, and you hear another grumble as rocks shift, slide, fall off. Uh, a layer of dirt peels off the hill as it starts rising, and from what you can see, like a giant humanoid figure, seemingly made out of stone, uh, pretty big and bulky looking, uh, rises. Uh, Cracks its neck with a, a yawn. Um, you say good morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll just kind of. Hey there. He, uh, the giant pauses, turns, stretches out his shoulders and neck. Leans downward, hands on knees to get a closer look. Hello, small folk. 
Hi. Rods, oh. good morning. <laughs> it is not morning. It is the dreaming time. One does not dream during the morning. I'm actually going to speak in giant. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Make you! Turns Look at you! <laughs> yeah. 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 Turns towards, yeah. towards the Dane, <laughs> and her oh, and her jaw just like <laughs> tapes open. Yeah, just just good morning. Just oh, good morning or good evening. Good dreaming, you could call it. I am. Impressed, the small folk knows the language of the large. I indeed I do. Hmm. Uh, what brings you around here to these parts? Hmm. I woke to find myself in the dream. I have been seeking true awakening, but the land, it shifts around me when I close my eyes in this stream. You... You go to dreaming and you wake up and you find yourself somewhere else? Hmm. Perhaps it is a side effect of starting the dream long ago. It has not stopped. Hmm. That sounds... Hmm. That is a good small folk word. Sleep walking. Yes. Mosinger has been sleepwalking. Oh, is that large folk's name? Mosinger? Yes. Pleasure to meet you. I give like a little bow, just pleasure to meet, meet you, large folk. I would bow back, but I think I offered the end. You're fine. Yeah, yeah. I still love the idea that just Nizip and Megan are just staring, just like kids speaking to giants. Yeah. Meanwhile, family's just like, oh, yes, hey. what <laughs> ah. Niz Niz Nizip hasn't even registered that yet. Nizip is terrified. Megan, <laughs> Megan is just, Megan is Megan has just been kind of asking, like, Zidane off to the side, like, what is the giant saying? So yeah, I, assume, no. I assume they're speaking, they're having a conversation in giant. Yeah, mm -hmm. no. and he is kind of in trying to interpret to the to the other two, just like what's what's being okay. said. I Megan turns speak back. a little small folk, if that helps. Megan nods. She seems oddly unfazed by something that is something that size, but she turns back. To, she turns back to Mosinger and she asks, "What have you been seeking in this?" sleepwalking in this dreaming time. Passage down. Down where? Home. Where Mosinger can be awake. Down. Is Mosinger not awake right now? No. This is a dream. Oh. Is Mosinger's home dark? Perhaps too small folk. I have heard in this dream under dark, a term perhaps talking of Mosinger's home. 
Uh, the end of dark. We sent a hill bog down there. That probably doesn't cause too much noise. <laughs> At least we think he went there, because we did say go to hell, but he went there instead, so... No, he just walked down, down into the ground. We don't know <laughs> we where don't know. the Nilbog went. We don't know what we don't yeah, want to know. Yeah, he, he Gmod flipped into the Ender Dark. But it's presumably the Ender Dark. I hope not, because that's going to cause a lot. That's going to cause a. I, I think that, I think I think Mozinger here is going to have some noise complaints if he gets back home. If he gets back home and sees the Nilbog down there. I'm actually going to turn to the other two and just be. Where's entrance to the Ender Dark? Did we see one? I think I think there was I think there was one we encountered. Yeah, as I could make a knowledge check. Uh, technically, it would be a nature check to see if you know of any uh, passages to the Underdark. I think you've encountered one so far, and you just didn't go down. All right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd leave that check to the nature persons. Yeah. uh... Little boy's never been one. He doesn't recognize it. Never clicked. Um. Also, I guess sh should we wake everyone else? Yeah, pro prob probably. Since, I... since, especially since we have a seal of the Underdark to look for as well. Yeah, uh, I'll I'll go wake everyone else. Uh, go back. Go back in and join just. Apologies, let's we we'll wake up our other small folk quickly. All right. I am curious who else is in this dream with you. I go and wake everyone up very hurriedly. Mm-hmm. What? Uh, no, I, what's going what, on? What's going on? Uh, what the hell? Uh, Terry's like, there's, I'm there's... up, I'm up, I'm up! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's okay, I think. I think. It's okay. 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 Bigger than the elf we found earlier. <laughs> Today is just the day of big boys, huh? Big. Uh, I'm gonna go back to most here. And go and just like sneak up on us with none of us waking up. <laughs> no, 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 this is gonna be funny. Just he's, everyone's he's waking a very up. Quiet giant. But <laughs> yeah. Fra just goes back to giant. Just sorry, they for the sudden noises. Hmm. Noises are common in dream. Fair enough. Still, a light. Sorry, what's happening? Um, am, we're talking to Giant. I am dream. Megan's the dream talks to me. Wait, Megan you're explains the dream? that the Yes. Megan explains that Mosinger is looking for looking for the Underdark because Mosinger. he is looking to return home and where he can be a we, we can be awake and she turns back towards Mosinger for clarification. Oh. Yes. Uh, she, um, Megan turns back and says, Yes, be awake. <laughs> Foylet is one hundred percent interpreting it for the rest of the party. <laughs> Yeah, Ty kind of scrubbed I mean, I... their eyes and just underdark. Um, there was a uh, we found that that house on the lake shore that seemed like it might have been like a passage deeper in. Uh, it was over by the little iron clock tower out east. Uh, yeah, but I, I can think of. that seems like a pretty small entrance. That was the one with the giant says... bees. <laughs> yeah, the the yeah big... that was the that was the killer bees. Those poor bees. Mosinger's going to need a pretty big shovel to get down there. Oh, that... Oh, okay. Um, is the way Mosinger has been talking about the dreaming, is that like a giant cultural thing, or...? History check. I would love to. Yeah, now that everyone's awake as oh, well, right. uh, 
That's Lizip is Lizip is hiding behind Tig. All right. <laughs> Incredible! That is That's so just... fucking funny. That is incredible. That's so wonderful. <laughs> Tiger's like still, still basically asleep, like yeah. trying to like suss out what this dreaming thing means. Like absentmindedly, like pats Nizip's head <laughs> behind them. There's this fucking six foot dragonborn <laughs> behind this like four foot kobold. <laughs> All right. That's it. So. Uh, 15, uh, judging from his looks, Mosinger is a stone giant, uh, one of the, uh, lesser races of giant, according to an ancient piece of giant lore known as the Ordning, which is basically, uh, categorizing a caste system for every one of the giants, and then small folk are beneath all of them. Uh, stone giants, of course. uh, stone giants are weird. Uh, Stone Giant's usually a lot slimmer than Mosinger is. Mosinger is uh, pretty bulky, covered in a whole lot of rocks. But uh, Stone Giants spend most of their time underground, in mountains, in caves, etc. And believe that that is the only real reality. Anything above ground to them is a dream. Fascinating. Huh. Wow. Or just cannot fathom the world of the small folk being real. Okay, then. Cannot fathom a bright world. <laughs> it's actually kind of sad. A little. I mean, as long as, long as they're entertained down there. I mean... <laughs> they're happy down there. Yeah, I mean... You've, you've never heard of a stone giant being convinced the surface world's not a dream, but it's theoretically possible. Why well, God, you're a, you're a, you're in the wiki world. <laughs> You've been in a coma a for fifteen years. Oh Take the God. red pill, Mosinger. <laughs> <laughs> Take the red pill, Mosinger. That's not the pill. That's and then drop. giant. <laughs> and then giant Agent Smith came out and then and killed Mosinger or whatever. I don't know. Hmm. Anyways, Mister Mosinger. All right, well, back to the task at hand. Uh, there is... We do want to get to the Underdark eventually because we want a seal of the Underdark. Uh, yeah. the entrance, there's the entrance with the bees, and then there was... I know we encountered some signage about there being ways into the Underdark up in the swamps area as well. So... Hmm. Yeah, did we end up finding that one though, or did we just hear about it? We we just heard oh, we about heard it. About we didn't it. actually end up investigating, but we need to eventually because we need to find the loth blessed spider venom or something. Eventually, yes. we'll get there. Oh. So, Tiger like squints really up it, up. squints up the lightning sky. You couldn't have given me, like, 30 more minutes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I already gave a couple hours from when I first found him. Oh. Are you good, by the way? Like, just full, fully, finally, like, clicks and turns around and just... Are you good, by the way? Niz, are you okay? Uh... Yeah. I will be, yeah. As long as you will be. Ask, yeah. I can tilt her head and says, "Uncomfortable with big guys." Yeah. Oh. Oh, we'll have, to, it's we'll have okay. to talk about this later. Yeah, he 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 seems nice, and also, it's, if I'm just gonna stay over here. Oh, that's okay. Dragon nods. Pat, pat. And then turn. He turns back towards Mosinger and says, "We too, we too seek, we too must seek the Underdark at some point. Uh, perhaps if we find an entrance to the. If we find an entrance that can fit you, we'll we'll, we'll call for you." Mm. Mosinger. Very kind. How did your? Also, yes. <laughs> how did your dream start? There was a light. Beautiful, yet unknown. It said, 
There are things I can show you. Things of beauty. Mosinger wanted to see. Since then, I have been dreaming. How do you lose a 50 foot hole in the ground? <laughs> Do you not remember the first what you saw after the, the light? It's your first dream? Screaming small folk. <laughs> I mean, fair. That does not narrow it down at all. But <laughs> hmm. was it like a lot of was it like a lot of people screaming small folk? Or like just a small just like a small party of them? I do not know. A lot to a giant is tons to small folk. A lot to a small folk, nothing to a giant. Okay. We don't know how populated the hole is next to, then the area the hole is ne next is next to is then. Hmm. Was oh, it? I looked for the hole. It was caved in. Hmm. Maybe if we hear about... Unfortunate. Um, just... Someone must have... Put something down about that though, right? Like, someone took notice and... Said something about it? I don't know, it feels like that would be... Recorded mm -hmm. in some way. <laughs> I mean, maybe, if we knew the area, or... How long have you been uh, wandering about in the dream, actually? I do not know. Time mm. in the dream flows strangely. I'll take your word for it. Oh god, they don't have clocks down there. <laughs> We're getting no information. <laughs> Do you know how many, uh, like, see. moon rises you've seen in your dream? Hmm. Hundreds of hundreds. So it's been a while. It's been a while. It's, it's, it's been, been a long while. time. Hmm. I mean, people would talk about a giant roaming around like if we kept our ears out for like rumors i guess yeah well th that's that's one more thing to look out for then we probably have to look out for talks of like the uh, talks of like a giant or any gaping holes in the ground that could lead to the possibly lead to the underdark okay ah. we will have to keep our eyes out for that <laughs> Dream sun rises, small folk. Here it is. So it is. I hope you find what you're looking for then. Yes. I tire of this dream. I have not seen the beauty it promised. Hopefully, next time, if we meet again, we can help you wake up from this dream. I would hope so. Megan nods, or, or we, or, or we will bring, or we will bring you the, bring, bring beauty to this land that was the, the beauty that was promised to you by the light. For that is the that is the light that we fight for. All right. So, uh, Mosinger steps away. I'll go ahead and add a uh, quest to the quest log as available, because uh, you did just now say the right things to make that quest available, but he is currently oh, leaving, and it is time to set out on another expedition. Uh, but first, it is break time. So we will see you all 
in a little bit. Don't go anywhere. Bye bye. Bye bye. Welcome back to Legend of the Wildlands. Uh, we're about to set off on another leg of our journey towards Tiki's place. Uh, technically, we have three routes to get there. Uh, clockwise around the lake, counterclockwise around the lake, or you could try out your folding boat. <laughs> hey, we got a boat. We can use that. <laughs> Megan pulls out the boat. Oops. I forgot we had that. Not gonna yeah, lie. no, we got boat. <laughs> we didn't. We have a boat. <laughs> yeah, you got the folding boat back in Kaglodar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's get that. I, I, no, I know we, we got it. it. I thought we gave it to someone. No, we gave it to no, me. We... Yeah, no, we decided against it. Fair. You gave an actual boat to. <laughs> yeah, we gave it to the prospector. Oh, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. I a real boat. <laughs> Not and right. we're gonna find out how real this folding this boat is. Yeah. <laughs> we're All right. Find out. All right. Let's go. So we're we're at the water's edge, right? You'll get oh, there no. during the day. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. We can also try and stop by Twin Rivers if we want to. Town. Mm hmm. Cause isn't that like right around here? Yeah. It's, uh. Let me double check. Is it here? <laughs> or is it more south? Uh, Twin Rivers is south of where you currently are. Okay, never mind. Never mind then. Uh, yeah, Twin Rivers right. is uh, based on where you were pointed at the visitor center a day south. Gotcha. Okay, never mind then. All right. Well, I'll, all three are good options. 3.5, but you were like, nah, not, never mind for <laughs> Twin Rivers. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. There's like a graveyard. Fuck it. There's something in the middle of a lake. Hell yeah. yeah. I, was, I, was, I was just saying, there's like a graveyard in the middle of a lake. So let's uh, let's Sounds... open up this boat. All right. Sounds good to me. Uh, so first, there is getting to the water's edge. Do, 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 do. I see. Oh boy. I see. Hmm. And then the and then hmm. the moist Nilbog came out. <laughs> All right. Uh, the Nilbog Mermaid. So as you head along the western river towards an even more western river, uh, Nilbog. you hear this uh, roaring waterfall nearby. A roaring waterfall? Mm. Mm -hmm. It really is such a nice sound. I played Black Myth Wukong. There's a dragon behind that. The hell are you on about? <laughs> <laughs> What's a black man? You're, like you're like the only person I know who's touched that game. So <laughs> GG. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I have no reason to fuck around with the waterfall. Want to drink it? Is it magic water? Uh, you, uh, it's by water. It's very nasty. It is falling water. Uh, you don't know if there's magic. You haven't used, like, Arcana or Detect Magic. No. <laughs> no, uh, Trill doesn't actually care that much about like, oh, it's, it's a magic waterfall. water. A, a waterfall's a waterfall. Like, unless uh, you're yeah. not sure about to go over it, it's just a pretty wall of water. Carolina is looking at her notes. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it's underneath Ooh. the waterfall. <laughs> now what's behind the waterfall? I was gonna be like, hmm, maybe this is like a good like place to like bathe a little bit. Yeah, you head around the waterfall. Uh, Carolina looks up from the notes. Would you classify a brontosaurus as a behemoth? What? Yeah. Mm. I suppose. I would classify it as large. So... We're in the Wildlands. Would you say that if there's yeah. anything behind a waterfall, then it would be beyond waters and behemoths? Oh. Oh. Now that's what I call game design. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I call game design. All right. Are there any brontosauruses bathing in the lake right now? or You don't see any, like, brontosauruses around, just the actual waterfall itself. Okay. Well, we've passed. We've passed the big guys. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. We have a lot of big guys in our travels. It couldn't hurt to take and you know look around. Some yes, it could. Yeah. <laughs> with, with with that information, I it waterfall is interesting now. All right. Uh, you head up towards the waterfall. Let me go ahead and copy paste y'all in so you can get in the map. Oh boy, it has a map. It has a map. Ooh. That means there's there be treasure. All right. <laughs> Ooh. Boop. It's all gray. I, uh, okay, ah, there we are. Swift. That's your dark vision kicking in. That's yeah. dark vision kicking in. S- Swift can fix it. <laughs> I don't I have dark vision. It is, it is apparently very uh, dark in this outside oh, yeah. area. That's oh, dumb. No, wait. It's okay, me... Helena, hold on to Nix. Yeah, it's daytime, <laughs> so I'm going to turn on global illumination. <laughs> Thank you. And I let there be see. light. I can't Ta-da! see. Okay. Oh, cool. Global Ooh. illumination. Yay, I'm cured. No fog of war. <laughs> hey! Your Yay. allergies to the fog of war are gone! <laughs> why is why is Nick's off-grid? I just copy-pasted. That's how they landed. Yeah. Yeah, okay. that is... Yeah, uh, everyone's off, off the grid at the moment. Cause oh, I see. The, the splash page doesn't have a grid, so we get off-grid when we, if it's copied from there. Yeah, I'm on okay. the grid now. Oh, Swift, you're back! Swift, I've been here for program. the whole time! <laughs> Are you talking to me now? No! What? It's been five minutes! <laughs> it's been well but, past five wait, minutes. Wait, 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 but Swift, you just talk, you just reply to them. <laughs> Shh, don't tell them. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, seems legit. Side, are you off? <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah. Listen, when it comes to Swift, yes. the side that is funny. Exactly. <laughs> Just don't get me wrong. I love Nyx to death, but I also love Nyx to death, and that means I want to see them suffer. Oh, you're so kind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I give Nick all the okay. love. It's just the one time where the joke was funnier. <laughs> yeah, the joke. Trill's was just funny? gonna go by the water and crouch down and just kind of like run his hands through, just like getting Ooh. that refreshing water. All right, hmm. it is indeed water refreshing stands. water. The fact that it's a waterfall means it's constantly moving and refreshing. So delicious. It sure is. And clean. Just uh, is that a basking down, in man? that freshness. Is, it, is that a cave. cave down there? Oh, oh yeah. It does. Kind of down it looks like, 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 like a very, very small opening into the rock behind the waterfall. <gasps> hmm. Oh my god! Do we make our way down there? Right. Let's, Let's go. go. What the fuck was that noise? <laughs> that was a lock. Uh, door open. Don't worry about it. <laughs> that's the lock. Oh, you can walk over the trees. That's the ha- that's handy. Yeah. I didn't set up Fly any, like, them. terrain constraints uh, for for this part. Let me Wee. double check. Uh, there are walls somewhere, just not here. Okay, so we just going to jump in? Challenge for wings. <laughs> you want to jump in? <laughs> yeah. I am climbing down. And then I'm going to jump. I'm going to jump into the water. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't jump in down river, though. Oh, no, 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 no. I climbed down. And then up to get down to the uh, lower part, and then I jump into the water. There better not yeah, be a down river though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're down river True. from the cave. Is... Oh shoot! I I guess I better that. supervise. <laughs> and then the mega crocodile came out. <laughs> I mean, there might be a dinosuchus here somewhere in the in the dinosaur area. Actually, wait. It's so nice here. Why does Swift still have 10 pit points? Let me fix that. Why does Swift still have 10 pit points? probably have a long rest. <laughs> well, I took it off the character sheet, but it didn't fix it on their like, little tap thing, so it's all fixed now. <laughs> Stop getting high, Swift. <laughs> Never. Swift, you get high off of water? 
only one way to find if out. Any, if <laughs> anyone's gonna get high off of water, it's gonna it's be It's gonna trail. be <laughs> Or trail. Or trail. Yeah. Yeah. Trail's gonna be like, oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Okay, uh, fresh so. water. Fresh so water. are we gonna? Are we going to be smart and have Trill and Swift fly down to the cave, or can I just jump in the water and swim to the cave? I climbed down like a normal person. We just yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> okay, not but, from where okay. I am. Okay, but consider doing a little bit of uh, yep. dangerous stuff and trying to move from the side here. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, it's probably not wise to jump in right next to a waterfall. <laughs> why can't I'm we strong. just... Why can't we just climb uh, like normal people? Not that we are normal people, but, you know, we I could did. try and imagine. <laughs> I did climb. I mean, there's plenty of hand and footholds, like, if you want to yeah, just like, climb down. It, it's pretty... It's well, pretty, that's what Nyx is like, doing. <laughs> all right. It is pretty, like... I mean, awesome, I'm not your dad. Like... You could do what you want. All right. <laughs> we'll be safe. Uh, I don't have a dad. <laughs> uh, passing underneath the waterfall, <sighs> Megan, uh, you find yourself in like a limestone clearing near said waterfall Ooh. with uh, a stone structure carved into uh, into the rock in front of you with a stone door. I'm going to shuffle you along a little bit so you don't face through any walls that you shouldn't. And whoop. Well, Megan's hey. dead. I'm oh. not dead. I'm somewhere <laughs> else. Sometimes also, there's fog of war in here. Voice. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's fog of war because this place has walls. <laughs> yes. I see. It is okay. locked. It, I guess. Door ahead of you is locked. Okay. Shall follow. All right, let's go. Come on, Whelan. Everybody needs to go on a little journey. Yep. All right. So, uh, hold position, please. Okay. We and all turn. drown. <laughs> we. Oh, cool. Oh, no, we're drowning. I heard locked door. I also see cavern. You're right, Tyg. There is a cave over here. Oh boy, Carolina gets to get gets Wait, to join. Is it where us you going? Because... <laughs> yeah. Cause I want stone. Was that a door or like a crack? Uh, <laughs> or is it just one and two? This is a uh, a crack in the wall. It is in fact a very tiny crack. So Aww. you ain't fitting in there. <laughs> so cut that shit out. Let me in. Let me in. <laughs> Megan turns. I'm surprised towards, you're not taking your opportunity to try Waylon. and break through. Eh, fine. I'll unlock the door. All right. That fog of war is gonna bother you, and you're gonna like it. Right. So it says here the key is click. Door opens. <laughs> okay. Oh shit! There was a puzzle. Oh damn it! Well, Oops. no, there was like a key hidden oh, somewhere around here. <gasps> What's oh. here? All right. Well, That's far less. We don't need keys. Yeah, no, keys are for pussies. <laughs> Can I have Swift, please? We leave cats out of this. All right. yeah. I will go find <laughs> Swift. So it's at the bottom of the map because I couldn't move on to the other one. <laughs> oh, there goes that potato. Hot potato, hot potato. Hello. Hot potato, hot potato. So uh, this looks like an old hall of some kind. This appears to be a storage area with old sets of armor flanking it on the walls. Uh, ahead of you, there's a passage that goes to a fork, uh, along with two doors on the uh, left and right sides. Huh. Unlocked, okay. Oh. Oh, God. Both doors are unlocked. Oh, my God, doors that don't explode or set off sand traps? My cup of tea. <laughs> well, technically, the doors weren't setting off sand traps. They were setting off axe traps. I... I can't... I'd rather block it out. I mean, okay. either way, it's nice to just be able to open a normal door. Yeah. Right, so, Wait, guys, whoa, no, can we not split the party? <laughs> whoa! So, the hallway on the left uh, 
goes through a long, narrow passage with alcoves carved into the side. There look to be coffins in these alcoves. <laughs> We've learned. Oh, Speaking nice. of coffins, am I looking at a coffin? Uh, these are crates. Uh, crates and a couple of cots. Uh, in the that's a crate. That's a crate. Wow. Okay. Very coffiny crate. <laughs> well, that's free yep. game then. All right. Inside the crate, some rations. Mm. Like fresh or fresh is relative with rations. They're designed <laughs> to stay edible oh, yeah. forever. <laughs> edible. That's what I meant. The yeah. hard tack clutter. Are, like, are there coffins down over here, or are these just more crates? These appear to be more crates. Oh. Hey, Nizup, there's more crates down here. Oh, cool. Whoa, yeah, there is. Mm -hmm. uh, That's and weird. the left room uh, is a pretty wide open uh, hall. Looks like a dining hall, if not for the lack of chairs. Uh, there is a long, long table, a couple of torches set up, uh, Anvil with a smithy hammer and a whetstone next to it. A bunch of scattered, like, uh, cots, chairs, barrels, and crates. Does this look like it's been habited recently? Perception check. Okay. There's a layer of dust over a lot of things in here. Uh, some There is clear evidence of humanoid uh, activity in this chamber. But, uh, as far as you know, no one's been in here for a while. You can't give an exact date, though. Are the torches lit? Torches, let me double check. Are not lit. Uh, they just came okay. like that with the map. Just making sure that's flavor and not actual. Mm -hmm. That's flavor. Uh, can I check these three crates? Yep. Uh, dining utensils from left to right. Dining utensils. A uh, bunch of sandbags. And uh, various adventuring supplies like spare whetstones, rope, candles, torches, and the like. What type of cook dining supplies are we talking? We're we talking silver. Uh, no. That it's like a pretty, pretty standard, like cast iron, pretty cheap looking. Okay, it's so like a copper piece for a set. Not worth it. Yeah. Uh, All right. Zidane, uh, heading up a set of stone stairs to a pile of like crates and barrels and pots. There was a door in front of you, and I can hear you were trying said door. Uh, <laughs> it is <Hello>? locked. <laughs> it is locked, and you do not see a visible keyhole. Mm. That's sus. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Okay. I'll come back to that in a moment. Knock, knock. All right. Is this just, like, a door to nothing? Uh... Looks like a door to a, a closet, basically. Mm. What's um, me? Sorry. <laughs> can I... I... In front of you, uh, mm. Nyx, is a yes. suit of armor. Oh, fair enough. Can I, can I look? Uh, <laughs> yeah, Nizip, you can look at... <laughs> Just choice. check if there's anything in the rooms. Like holes or whatnot. All right. Uh, sure. Make me uh make me a perception check to look for holes. <laughs> Nothing ah. you can see. Okay, just closets. All right. You called for Lynn. Doors locked, but it doesn't seem to have any sort of keyhole. Hmm. Hmm. Carolina starts flipping through her notes. Do you have anything in your notes, notes, Carolina? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it says, uh, beyond even this, uh, at the door that will not open, you will seek passage where the hero passed thrice wise. Hero passed thrice wise? 
Yeah, that's what it says. May I see right. that written down? Yeah. Uh, she, uh, like, holds out the map. Look, but don't touch. It's old. <laughs> Not gonna touch. I touch. All right. <laughs> uh, Trill and Nyx, uh, this looks like basically a living room. Nice. Is this Ooh. a map on the table? Uh, it is a map. It appears to be uh, hundreds of years old at the very least. Outdated, because a lot of the structures and towns are just not uh, existent anymore that are listed on said map. Okay. Oh. Is it like a map of Sedaria, like as a whole, or is it it's like a map just of like Sedaria a as a whole? Would Carolina still be interested in it, or is she only into like update stuff? I don't know. You could ask. We'll mention it to her. That'd be a fun historical find. Yeah. It's like a preservation, at least. Yeah. Um. Where the hero passed thrice ways. That isn't really narrowing anything down. If this is the Kingmaker's treasure, then he'd have passed a lot of things. Before I forget, no. uh, telekinetic communication. Boop. 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 Bonk. Unless it's something about, like, a metaphorical passing or something along those lines. Ooh, could be, yeah. Oh, let's go! We got eight hours, we're good. Let's go! All right. Fab. Check out these crates. All right. Uh, the ones in this left hallway uh, are coffins. Oh. I don't touch those. I don't have permission yet. <laughs> you can break the coffins if you want. <laughs> you know, crates are crates, but you know, coffins, that there can be undead in those. Oh, Megan pulls out her sword and then says, and then says, okay, go. <laughs> All right. You open the left westmost coffin. There's a skeleton inside. The skeleton yeah, got it's anything? me, Skeleton Jones! Nope. Alright, on to the next one. Are you grave robbing again? They don't have anything useful. I can't rob them no. if they're dead. <laughs> Just they grave looking. Grave looking? <laughs> All right. I'm window grave shopping. Browsing. Inside uh, the second from the left coffin, another skeleton. Tattered clothes. Useless. Inside the middle coffin, there is a, uh, like, a painted blue lock. Oh. Um, lock. There's not a skeleton? Not a skeleton. Okay, I'll leave this oh. one open. I'll come back to you. All right. Fourth casket. Skeleton. Anything? Me. Uh... There is, like, what looks to be a dagger embedded inside one of its uh, shoulder blades. Man. Oh. Unfortunately. Oh, no, didn't even have time to... Didn't even have time to take the dagger out and the Baird, and that's... Sucks to be him. Moving on. Empty. Hmm. I investigate it further. Okay, roll investigation <laughs> check. Oh. Well, oh. I don't, I don't think it will help. But if it doesn't succeed, I don't use the ability. So, okay. <laughs> Does an eight make it? No. <laughs> cool. The plus side about that ability is, if it doesn't succeed, you don't expend it. Hey. Hey. All right, well, uh, hey guys, I found a blue lock. A blue lock? Like, attached to anything, or...? Yeah, like, what kind of lock is it? What kind of lock is it? It is painted. Uh, it looks to be a padlock. 
Is it like connected to the coffin itself, or? Uh, it just no, it's there? just like freestanding. You can pick it up. Huh. Let's examine it's... it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll look at it. All right. Uh, it is painted a shade of blue on close examination. Wait, that's not paint. That is some type of metal material. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. What's the locked door made out of? Uh, locked door looks to be made out of metal. Wait, like, if I'm we... Not blue? Not blue. <laughs> not if blue. We, if we throw the lock at the door, we can reverse psychology. <laughs> huh. Let's bring oh. the lock to the door just in case. <laughs> yeah, I'm wanting to... If, see if there's anything blue in here. Well, I thought it was okay. good. Well, there's you. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's supposed to be here. I'm not. I'm not part of the puzzle. The, the, this isn't the key to my heart or anything like that. It, this just won't benefit you. Key to my heart. <laughs> All right. Uh, keys? <laughs> you look around. You don't see anything that would uh, examine or like match the metal color. Uh, Carolina calls out. Where'd you get the lock again? Third coffin. Third coffin. Oh, Megan points at the coffin. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. The, I mean, that's what I... It's it's where oh. he passed thrice, because, it's you know, he passed the third one. I mean, it's... Mm -hmm. well, that, that, well, that's yep. what I figured, but I didn't want to say anything until I checked everywhere else first. I'll try and open the lock now. All right. Uh, as you get... Uh, let me let me do a measure real quick. Let me do a measure real uh -oh. quick. Uh, As you get to about where you're standing, the lock starts blowing. Ooh. There's a light Ooh. hum coming from it. I rapidly start to pick the lock. Okay. <laughs> hey! Hey! Natural 20. So in that case, uh, the lock go. pops open, pops closed right again, and you feel uh, like a voice in your head saying, put me to the door. Fuck, I was going to do that, but then someone told me to do it, and now I don't trust it. You can trust me. I'm a natural 20. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's, that is the best thing ever. All right. You can trust me. I'm a natural 20. Uh, you put the lock to the door. Uh, it, uh, like... Vroom, magnetizes onto the door, slides into where the lock would be, pushes itself into the door, and then uh, a series of, like, words and names start appearing on the door. Uh, so, uh, everyone, I would like you to go into the journal and under uh, loot, treasure map treasures, you should see Old Hero's treasure. Uh, Old Hero's oh boy. see it. Old here. Whoa, whoa. What the fu- Oh, no. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. I can't- This I, is an eye. This uh, is a little- Is this the one brain training puzzle? <laughs> this is gonna be fun. you remember the kings between Kanavak and Augustine? Uh, the top of it is- If your mind is sharp- Oh. Oh, This is a- I didn't know that we were gonna be tested. <laughs> um. Whoa. Here I we mean... go, boss. Well, these are all the kings. We- the Queens. Yes. We- Yes. The rulers. We do have that. We we wrote that down, right? We know some of them. Yeah. Well, what ones do we know? Where where know where? Chance the one before Augustine. I'm pretty sure. Psalm's Chance the is one. eleven. Augustine is the twelfth. Psalm Psalm's is the second. Two? Yeah. Psalm is the second. I have a feeling so. Rest is tenth. Uh, rest is ninth or tenth. Let's look in the notes. Let's check the map. Let's check the map. <laughs> All right. Uh... Okay, we said Chant is 11 and Psalm is second. Are those the two that we have for sure? We know for definite, yeah. Okay. All right. Just having a look. Uh, okay. <laughs> Kanavak and Taradgova reigned um, uh, one before the other, but I'm not sure which one. 
Um, uh... Okay, so while we're trying to figure that out, what are these letters in the center doing? Oh, Russ is the eighth. Mm -hmm. Uh, it looks like when you okay. make the lines, they yep. cross out yeah. um, letters. You can make uh, lines? Yeah, click on click on the thing on the left, and then click on the thing on oh. the right to align it. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to click right first, then left. Yeah, fair enough. We don't have the lines in black. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing that's question questionable, but also, I the, think... The lines are in black, so I can't, I can't see them. Yeah. With that yeah. said... Okay, uh, I'm gonna try this. Thank you. Nope, that nope. didn't help, so one second. It's blue now! That's her special Ooh. attack! With that, said, with that said, considering that I'm going to guess that the letters that are... Oh, oh thank you. Very nice. Oh, okay. Very nice. Okay. But okay. also... Okay. Considering that they are taking... That the letters are taken off, I imagine that we're looking for the letters that remain. Outside yeah. Of this yeah, so they make a word. Mm-hmm. So this is really, this is definitely better. I'm just typing all the names into my notes. Okay, so Nethmus was over a thousand years ago, but I don't have a note down which one he was. Or she. <laughs> King Durag the Fourth. Durag. Oh, Durg were the goblins? Uh, yes. Durg was the goblin king. <laughs> yeah. Or one of many goblin kings. There was a whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> You're valid. Hmm. You said Vraster was the fourth, right? Vraster is the eighth. Durg's well, the fourth. Nephmus... Is the eighth. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Vraster came after Nephmus. Okay. So Nephmus so is seventh. Is seventh. Mayhaps. Uh, we don't have anything on Griana. Process uh, of elimination? Yeah. At this point, Unless... yeah, that might be the case. Wait, Helena, do you know a bit? Um, some. Uh, King Chant said he uh, he liberated the the place from uh, from the Lamia Queen, and I believe that was Harfellus. Okay. Harfellus so that means ten. ten. That means it'd be right before. The chant was eleventh, and that means the tenth. Then that means tenth would be our fellows. Uh, I know Tatagova had a temple. I don't know when that temple was new. Because the Temple of Divinity and Copper was for him. Hmm. I will say that the secret word does need to be searching. in all caps. <laughs> okay. 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 Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Sorry. I don't know why I'm apologizing. I didn't type it. Um, hmm. See, I can't use meta knowledge because otherwise we can just go back to the other street. <laughs> No, I am honest. Uh, uh, does Carolina Adeline. have any information on? Also, Tyga is smarter, smarter than I am. Do they yep. remember something? Yeah. Yeah, Tyga can yeah. make a history check. <laughs> I'd love to. I'd like to use my inspiration. You got it, McGruber. Or an inspiration for Pull, yeah. Slightly better, 15. Slightly better, 15. All right, so. Uh, going back off of Helena's knowledge of uh, of how uh, Chant liberated the thing from Harfellus, uh, what you remember about Lamias is that they tend to liberate, uh, quote-unquote liberate, abandoned structures and claim them as their courts, which somehow worked for Queen Harfellus. Uh, the, the only king you can think of that, like, left Sedaria abandoned was it Shahi who vanished, so they say, one day, and they never okay. found him. So that means Sussy. he would be um, ninth, correct? I think 
Tatsugova is third because we knew between the reigns of Kenovac and Tatagova, demons emerged from the abyss, which would imply that there wasn't that many between them. Okay. And if we know Psalm to be second, he'd have to be third. Uh, yeah. Alright. The only thing we have of Aralumen is that he was trying to build a city in uh, the desert. What do we know about Grayana? Nothing, Nothing that, that I can Nothing. find. <laughs> Grayana. I don't believe you've learned anything about Grayana so far. But we've already okay. got two, so it's kind well, of well, well, well. Let, let's see what it looks like with. Let's see what it looks like with both of them like crushed out. With, yeah, it's like way. if we if we have I'm everything make, else solved in theory. Like that. Okay. Right. Uh, so find song. Find sun. Please. Whoa. Whose son oh, are we finding? It's a song. Find song. Find song? Am I missing crossed out things? Because there's far more letters than that. Well, I think I think you and I are doing this together. I think that's the problem. Yep. But anyways. <laughs> Find song. All right. Song. Go ahead and Seven. attempt to unlock it. Heck yeah! Nice. Yeah, the door oh, slides yeah. open to a treasure hoard. <gasps> Let's fucking go! Uh, um, Let's go! <laughs> Let me in! Let me yeah, in! Did you, did you lock the <laughs> door again? It never opened. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Let's go! Wee! Treasure! 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 Yay! Well done, guys. All right. Good job. Oh, um, can we look at that puzzle again? We should write that down. <laughs> Might be good. Oh yeah, we should probably write that. Down. You should probably write that down. Yeah. Uh, let me uh, let me relock it. I guess. <laughs> We're all locked in. No. Nope. God. I can't relock it. No. Well, it's okay. We'll we'll look at the vod. All right. <laughs> Let me try we'll our ways. another time. Right. And on, oh wait, there's my lock. There we go. So I'll unlock it after you take a screenshot. Uh, so do -ba -do -ba -do. go ahead, pull it up again. There you go. Beautiful. Uh, Alright. Huzzah! Thank you. Alright. And Jesus, thank you. It's Huzzah. unlocked. <laughs> Woo! Yay. Go ahead and open up Old Hero's Treasure again to see your prize. Oh. Petrified frog? <laughs> oh, hey, thieves tools. The fuck is a cask of leather armors? Someone put a whole ass cask and put leather armors inside. What maniac? Oh, Aww. sword. Hmm. Oh, sword. me thinks these Required are magical. Attunement. Also, that's a shit ton of platinum. Oh Holy my shit! Oh, shoot! <laughs> oh wow! Now let me let me double check that <laughs> real quick. There. Let me double check. Th that's a shit ton of money. Yeah, that's a lot of money. <laughs> I no, see, did a typo. I did a typo. No, no. I already took no. it. I already took it. <laughs> nope, too late. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. Why did you uh, tell him about the homework? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that Tyg's sword is gonna looks, sword looks take some hasty. time to ritual cast detect magic. All right. I'm gonna guess Petrified Frog is like a. Oh my god, it's the master game. sword! <laughs> <laughs> It does look it. Ping, it ping, like ping, it. ping, ping. Uh, the sh the shields, the chain shirt, the longbow, and the sword are magic. Of course. Taken. Yeah. Taking that bow. <laughs> Give me that bow. Give me that bow. I'm taking. I'm taking the sword. Okay. What is this merchant cap? 
Uh, looks like a leather cap merchants typically wear. Freaking it. The sword oh. lets you do a spin attack. I am taking this thing. What? Oh. Yeah, no, take it, take it. All right. Looks like I did not put a uh, hidden description for that one. You'll still have to identify it, but technically, sure, <laughs> you have that. Yeah, it's like I was going to say, right. I opened the shields and saw they were magic and just went, they're magic, I'm not reading that. <laughs> <laughs> a petrified frog engraved with arcane runes! <laughs> um, and the that did not ping as magic. <laughs> The thieves' tools don't ping as magic, do they? They don't. Uh... I'll take well, those, though. I need some. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't does look long... like the sword's description carried into my inventory. Yeah, I was about to say, does the longbow have a... Because oh, they're oh, probably oh, locked now that they're in your I inventory, so we have to identify yet. them. You haven't identified them, so... Fair enough. Uh, uh, oh shoot. Okay, because I remember I remember seeing spin attack, and I was like, "Ooh, Tyke, do you want a whole ass barrel of wine?" I, can't I think carry a whole ass wine. barrel of wine. Oh god, how long well, has that been down here? Is that even so good? <laughs> well, it I is think the best. It's it's finely aged, is what it is. <laughs> yeah, it's like when a steakhouse says "dry aged" when it, they really mean we left it out. <laughs> God. Fuck dry aid steak. Fuck dry aid steak so hard. Wow. Uh, did well? Could Helena drink an entire barrel of wine? <laughs> comes, yeah, for the road. You underestimate my could. power. You hear Helena's voice chug, echoing from chug, outside. Chug, 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 chug. Okay. It even oh. it even comes okay. with a cup. Okay. It comes with, it comes with the souvenir oh. cup. Never mind. I have to ask. <laughs> Who wants that chain shirt? I, I was gonna say... I cannot who... fly with chain mail. I can't wear armor. Nor can you it's wear metal, shirt. can you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's me. That's not a rule for druids in 5th edition. Oh. Um. I've been black... I've been gaslighting myself for like eight years. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Who wants that? Because that is good. Well, I would love it. Chain it shirt. would be a downgrade for me, unfortunately. While you're wearing it, any critical hit against you becomes a normal hit. Shh. We yeah, don't know, know that yet. yet. Oh, shoot, you're right. I apologize. I mean, I do need more AC, so I'm inclined to take one of the yeah, shots. I, I, whichever one. Uh, we could, like, find out what they do, and we can, like, decide from there on. Yeah. I was Alina, like, I, I was good as... Can Alina hold shields? Elena cannot hold shields. Thin things, okay. I was gonna say both of them. All right. I, I I want Trill to have AC. Like yeah, all I mean, of I, the have, I have a shield like currently, but these ones, since they're magic, they're probably better. <laughs> yeah, it's just like because I know you have like what a twelve. 13? Um, hold on. No, it's not that low. I thought it was um, that low. With my current shield, it's 17. Oh! Oh, right, you just don't have hit points. That's what it yeah. is. I just don't have HP. I have 30 right. HP now. <laughs> yeah. Trill's it's got, hit points, not Trill's AC. Chill's got dex, just not uh, AC. Yeah. Yeah. Chill's got dex, Chill's got AC, just not HP. Yeah. The life oh boy. Part. <laughs> Time to find out if this money will over encumber us before we even take any of the loot. Consolidate. Oh yeah. I mean, I don't see a bank around. Is there a banker in the merchant uh ring? I don't believe you checked. Huh. Let's see. Yay, another Electrum from my pile. Woo! Ooh. Electrum! Let's go, Electrum! Best best currency, Electrum! Yes. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, if nobody else let's... wants it, I'll take the petrified frog. Yeah, go for it. You gonna eat it? 
secret what? snack. No. Why would that be your first assumption? <laughs> because it's tasty. What's wrong with you? Delicious. What? 169 gold. Nice. Does Spencer the coinage split crack. by... Oh, yeah, it does count the NPCs. On top. It does count NPCs. You... The NPCs need to be paid. I know. Give oh, me yes. my Spoon fucking money, money, says Carolina. I... <laughs> oh, Caroline, there were maps in the other room. I think they're outdated, but... And I don't they know look if valuable. Hold them. Yeah, they look, you know... If you're a historian, old. maybe. Sprint! I, I, I will also say for the other shield... If no one else wants it, I will want it. Yeah, like someone grab it and then we can like, once we find out what they do, we can kind of like swap these if we need to. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm just, I'm just saying, I, I don't, ha I can't use a shield at the moment, but I intend to in the future. So it's like, I've. Okay, okay we'll save it for a rainy day shield then. Yeah, All right. you, you I just don't want to. I just don't want to sh sell off a shield if no one can currently use it if I'm intending to you soon. You want to, yeah. That's fair enough. And then I do like pouches. <laughs> More pouches to hold seeds and herbs in. Pouches. Hell yeah, do Give it. Me pouches. Some other armors do. I could and probably then... take the one electrum for Swift. How big would these be? Don't let's say. Uh, merchant's cap. Fine merchant's I want to. I want to see Helena drink things. this barrel of wine. That'd be sure. really, Helena really picks up the whole ass barrel. Not even gonna use a souvenir cup. Souvenir cups are a scam. <laughs> <laughs> the, the chalice. I don't know what's been in this chalice. I mean, there's a there's, it, there's refreshing, a, there's a water. flowing water right here. You yeah, can wash it off. Right Some there. sins can <laughs> never be washed away. Ooh, what do you think happened to that cup? <laughs> Somebody pissed I mean, if it. you call it a chalice. <laughs> if you call wow. it a chalice. It's a pissed in cup. Uh, <laughs> oof. Oof. Oh, that opens. Okay. Darn. Uh, let's see, can I... How am I doing weight-wise? Oh, I'm fine. I'll go ahead and carry them until we can sell those. Awesome. You know, unless, of course, just plain leather armor is useful to anyone in the party, but I think we're all past that. Yeah, I'm past that. I've got studded leather. Which I'm pretty yeah. sure is the highest I can go before I lose my. Yeah, like, the cask of leather armor is made to be like sold. <laughs> yeah, it's just stuff chill, chill. that uh, the Kingmaker stored. Slap it in the cart, baby. Yeah, like the, the, this party is basically you're either wearing studded leather armor or full plate. Mm -hmm. Sitting here with normal leather. <laughs> oh, we got to change that. Mm -hmm. Oh God, those armors are heavy. Uh -huh. We gotta get those, get some studs <laughs> yeah, on those we, we, yeah. I took those armors and I put them on the card! <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get I, there, we'll get there. I, I am at 150% weight capacity. Oh yeah, you, got, you gotta move that. I can't move. I can't move. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll push you. Like... you. I can carry 200, I weigh 300. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, uh, as you're all sorting through that, doing some economy, uh, you head out of the cave uh, behind the waterfall, having successfully checked off one of the ten major treasures of Sedaria. Yo! Yeah, baby. Yeah. Helena is counting every single, uh, every single coin she got with a gleam in her eye. So oh, happy you're happy. You're right. Yeah. Do you want to do any identifying of uh, the magic items now? I want I to identify yes. the sword. Spell I want to identify the sword. All right, all right, all right. Form an orderly line, please. <laughs> I 
Ugh. Megan walks up with the sword. <laughs> Actually, I can just ritual cast it, so ten minutes at a time. Yeehaw. Let's Yeehaw. go. All right. All right. Ten minutes at a time. This sword is a legendary sword. The Sword of Titan's Fall. Uh, cool. <laughs> it requires attunement Ooh. by a good aligned creature, but deals hey, additional... <laughs> But it de deals additional radiant damage against fiends, Acherite or Acheron affiliated creatures, or anyone affiliated with Canavac. Uh, oh, Acheron. Oh. Yeah, Acherite. While, Acherite. <laughs> while at full sudden, health, feeling a lot more. <laughs> while at full health, the wielder of this sword can make melee attacks up to thirty feet away. What? Thirty feet. <laughs> And when oh, using the sword beam, and when using the attack action, instead of using a standard melee attack, you can use all of your attacks to spin around, sword outstretched, and make a melee attack targeting a radius of uh, five feet times what would be your multi-attack attacks. So, uh, for just, Megan, that's ten feet. You just wow. took Skyward Strike and spin attack. <laughs> oh my god! Spin, spin attack. Spin attack. Spin attack. Spin attack. <laughs> Megan, Megan examines the sword and she kind of like pivots on her pivots on her pelvis and kind of like tries it out, and she becomes a whirling buzzsaw of death. Oh, Acts away a little bit she come, and observes she comes, from a safe distance. Obviously, not trying to hit anybody. <laughs> but she she looks at the sword and she nod, She gives a nod of approval. Oh, well, glad we got you a magic I'm... weapon. Sheesh. Does anybody want this yeah. kind of weapon? <laughs> I, I can't wait anymore. to see what kind of damage yeah. that does later. That's going to be crazy. But yeah, uh, who does want the plus one scimitar? <laughs> yeah, I got, I, got, I, got, I got my spin attack. Um, I mean, I already have a scimitar. I can use an upgrade. Okay. Sweet. All right, let's go. Do you want to sell your old scimitar, scimitar yeah. then? Yeah, I could sell it. Actually. Eventually. All right, I'll send. We will give to not tying. Who will give it to? Da, 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 da. Mr. Um, Fish. Who's Mr. Fish? Uh, Mr. Fish <laughs> is a summon for summon beast. Uh, okay. I, I went ahead and added the air and water options. So uh, along with Wonderful. Kuma, there is Mr. Fish and Pet Shop. Okay. Wonderful. Pet Shop. Pet Shop. Well, I guess we'll have to see. I guess we'll have to see what. Yeah, that we is haven't eventually. summoned. We haven't summoned them yet. No. Okay. All right. Where's Trill? There he is. Somewhere, hopefully. There he is. He's he's there. Yeah. All right. Congratulations. You are now the proud owner of a plus one scimitar. Thank Woo. you. And Woo. I, I'm feeling a lot more confident about fighting that acarite monster. Hell yeah, baby. Oh, oh thank yeah. God, I got All those right. rumors there off were me. Shields for me to identify as well, I believe. Yes, uh, sir. Yep. All right. All right. So, let's go. Identify another casting. Blam. Blam. Trill. Uh, yes. Your shield is a legendary item, the Shield of Titan's Fall. This oh. plus two shield does need attunement, but it can be used to deflect incoming ranged attacks. When targeted by a ranged attack, as a reaction, you may redirect the attack to any other creature in range, using the same attack and damage roll. You may do this three times, recharging 1d3 uses per day. <laughs> I like that. Damn. Alright. And then, uh, Nisip, you have the other shield, yes? Yep. Cool. That shield... Is a sentinel shield. Huh. While holding the shield, you have advantage on initiative rolls and perception checks. Oh. Ooh. That's some good stuff right there, boys. Um. Oh. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Heck yeah, heck yeah. All right. Well, we have at least uh, one person who might be... Listen, I know you would take an AC hit, but consider, Megan, um, 
moving first. Ooh. More often. Mm. <laughs> and Ooh. seeing things well. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. We'll have, to, we'll have to think about that. We'll have to think about the build. Mm. Also, speaking mm. speaking of putting on things, I don't think I've put on the plate armor yet. Oh, oh that's weird. I yes. thought you had? I, I thought so too, but like okay. apparently cool. I'm still I'm still on the chain mail. Oh, we never actually added okay. plate mail to your to your inventory. Rip. Yeah. Uh That's easy to fix. She she's been modified. Get that shit on her. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Oh Put sorry, we're both card. trying to click. You do it. Okay, thanks. Okay. Twenty-four AC. Filthy. Yo. That's disgusting. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put the cart. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the chainmail on the cart for now, just so, it's just so I'm not like. Yeah, because <laughs> chainmail's heavy. Oh, okay. Yes. It's so gross, put, though. Put it in the van. Put it in the van. All right. So, uh, continuing with identification. I do have longbow and chain shirt. <laughs> you do have a longbow? Yes, 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 yes. And I that, do have a chain shirt. That longbow is a silver spark longbow. Uh, arrows shot from them are considered silver weapons for overcoming resistances. Uh, oh. They deal an extra 1d6 lightning damage to targets you strike. Uh, <laughs> they never have disadvantage from any source and ignore penalties from cover. Oh my god! It's <laughs> busted! That's why we went for this Hello? treasure hoard. That's as, we get to the vampire quest. <laughs> yeah. As an action, uh, you can fire a silvery lightning bolt, and evil spellcasters damaged by it have disadvantage on concentration checks for a minute. <laughs> evil spellcasters. Evil spellcasters. Uh, it requires attunement by a good aligned creature. Wait. Are you a good boy? No! no. Oh no, no. you're not. Wait! Are you, <laughs> are you uh -oh. not a good boy? Are you Considering the boy? way that he's been acting. Wait, no. No, don't tell me. <laughs> neutral. Oh, I think I'm neutral. You're not a, you're uh -oh. not a good boy. <laughs> is, is, is he neutral with the way that he's been acting and interacting with the world? That's the question. Yeah. No, no, that's it. Doesn't that say chaotic good? Wait, where is, is he? Where is, is, yeah, what's is your alignment? Is not short for chaotic good? <gasps> it is good! Okay, no, he's good. Never mind. Never mind. I <laughs> okay! I, I could not remember uh. if it was chaotic good or chaotic neutral. He's one of the two. Chaotic good. No, we're fine. We're fine. Thank God. <laughs> also, like, that was like change depending on how you act, so... Yeah. yeah. Uh, he, he's he good boy. He good boy. Mm -hmm. oh. We should probably write down that Megan is awful good, actually. Oh, that's that. so good. That oh, way. that's so good. All right. Yes. And then the chain shirt... Yeah. Yes. Is adamantine. <gasps> yeah. When you're wearing it, any critical hit against you becomes a normal hit. Ooh, that's good. Good to know. It's 13 plus dex. Max of plus two. Yeah, technically my scale gives me better AC, so... Chain might be good for someone, though. Could be. Alright. With the treasure hoard identified and rolling in some real good magical items, we're going to call this session here. Thank you all so much for joining us. We will see you next time for more adventures in the Wildlands. Uh, probably not more money, but who knows? We might loot somebody. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 All right, bye, everybody. <laughs>